First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Seen in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. For seen in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient history school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. Peace, peace. We back once again with Dr. Eileen Bay. We got a great show for you tonight. My man, Brother Azariah, is on. Brother Azariah, you here? Unmuted. Yeah, you here, Brother Azariah? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, we can. We can't hear you good. Okay, I was trying to figure out this phone. I never really used the phones like this. I usually use music from a distance. But um, right. well, I'm glad to be here, brother. You know, uh, one of the most spiritual shows and uh, great radio shows I'm starting to hear more about. And I um, feel like I can uh, actually go into some... Uh, uh, some some deep, you know, some metaphysical occult superfood or some shit. <laughs> oh, no doubt. We ready for you. You know, you're the master metaphysician and occultist, so we ready to um hear what you got for us. What's going on in the current event? Well, uh, I put an A in front of the master of. <laughs> a master of. We all masters, brother. I, uh, you, I look at you that way. I see you like that. You and all the rest of the brothers, Bobby and Phil. So uh, this is going to be a great conversation. Yeah. So I'm, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, actually, first thing I want to mention is uh, the passing of my brother, uh, Uriel uh, Bay, Prince Uriel. Yeah, no doubt. We definitely want to get into that. Right. Uh, I, I really, I don't know if I'm going to go into the conspiratorial part of it, but knowing that brother, because uh, we he did a couple of classes for me, and we talked a good long while, and we knew each other for a little while. And he gave me just about most of his material as far as his uh, Latin CDs, his new book, uh, and some all of his DVDs that he had and actually made up copies for him also. And he did a couple of lectures for me. So, brother, uh, for my time dealing with him, only showed me one thing. And that thing was love. This dude actually emanated love in a certain way. And I couldn't really put my finger on it. But after now, after uh, he he graduated, I reflect back. And when you reflect back, you see more. 
that this brother was really had his heart into everything that he was doing. Okay, and he had a lot of love, and I never seen him get out of out of his character. Never seen him get angry. If somebody asked him something, something if he had it, he would give it, uh, offer it, knowledge. I mean, it was just incredible. So I said, and then at the same time, uh, from what I heard, he wanted to leave. Okay, so and I know where that energy is too. Okay, because we're in the world that we live in it today. The more spiritual you become, or if you become as spiritual as you could be, you vibrate on a nine number, which means you might be in your last incarnation and been here quite a few times, you see. Exactly. Whereas other people may not be, you know, they might be in other grades where they have a lot way, a long way to go. Like you say something on the radio or at a lecture, you know what the hell you talking about. You know what I'm saying? I've seen lectures with you did a lecture, and I've seen people call some of the stuff over oh, the astral plane, that's some some fake stuff that's invisible. You know what I'm saying? So those that it's given that they cannot and and should not based on their level of incarnation and what they agreed to come here for. And you can't throw them sixth grade information if they're in the fourth grade. True. You know what I'm saying? I'm about that. Yeah, I right? got you. Right. So, so you we we both. See, I, I don't know. I know you see that really, really well. So, but anyway, back to you, Rio. Want to definitely send out some uh, powerful energy to him. He is, uh, you know, every time somebody uh, passes on the uh, graduates from this realm, before it happens, I usually when I'm doing my tarot, a death card will come up, and this is like the third time now. You know, right. and. Uh, and I, sometimes it throws me off because I know it's, you know, I know it means a whole lot of other stuff. But then, turn around, somebody will graduate, you know? Right. So I said, wow. Secondly, I want us to send out some powerful Moorish thoughts to my brother Arnold, over at, uh, who usually is over at the National Black Theater on Wednesday night. Him and his queen at the door. Uh, the brother's in the hospital uh, right now and um, not looking too good. So we want to send out some powerful energy oh, to man. him if, uh, as far as being in our He's thoughts. Definitely, yeah. definitely. It's in energy right now. Right, 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 right. And I say that because he had just come into this kind of information and knowledge and he has a lot of fervor for it and he's seeking more and he is putting having input into it. So it seems as though his path is not done yet, but who are we to actually speak on that? But we will still send the energy out to help him along. No doubt. You know? Yes, yes. All right, so, brother, what do you actually want to get into? Just, you want me to just go on? Just, just Because I can do that, too. Hey, hey, we want you to take it wherever you want to go. Um, we're going to go into some current events. Um, if you've seen the movie um, Jungle, if wow. um, you want to talk about... Sandy, um, um, hook shootings and the connections, whatever you want to go into, you you can take it. Okay, cool, cool. Now, I haven't seen the movie Django, but I have uh, heard from persons who have seen it that it was actually dealing with con- uh, contracts. So, and I heard right. one of the biggest contracts was dealing with freedom. So, uh, I'm going to actually probably, because I, I really don't like to go to the movies because in New York, you know, you don't, you know, who the fuck just got up? You know what I'm saying? There's bugs all over the goddamn chair, sec- ass. <laughs> and we know about Magic Johnson theaters and all of those when they, they, they run those gas tests and all kind of shit, you know what I mean? So I'm in right. a phase now where I can't even do that, but I'm I'm thinking about tomorrow breaking my own rule and go sit my ass on them uh, bed bugs oh, and watch the ass. movie. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> People be staring at us. We used to go and put down blankets and all kind of shit. Try to block. <laughs> Cause you gotta remember when you sit down, brother. Who, there's energy still there. There's energy. You know that. Right. <laughs> there's energy yeah. in that seat. You don't know who the fuck just sat there, man. All kind of shit madness is going on out here. So now we gotta right. be more aware. Well, they, we gotta you know, come back into our huh? Yeah, I was saying all that auric um, 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 debris. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I don't want to bring that shit home with me. You know what I'm saying? You get you the movie theater, you talk about the movie, and all of a sudden some other shit going on, you know? So, yeah, you got to watch right. your energy everywhere you go and everything you do. I was, 
went to the post office today, and I um, stopped at this store to get a coffee, and it's like a pizza parlor kind of store, you know, but they sell coffee and all that shit. So I said, I, I need a coffee to snap out of it for a minute. And um, I looked in the back. There was this big, hairy cracker just, don't, you know, with his bare hands, pressing and pulling, you know, kneading the dough and all kind of shit. I said, oh, damn, you know? <laughs> and it just hit me that way, whereas you got a group of all these teenagers and people standing around looking at them, can't wait to eat that shit. <laughs> and that, that is just really, really phenomenal. I, I mean, just to show, it showed me some the level of the mind control. The level of it. I mean, you could, they could just show somebody some shit right in front of their face. <laughs> and they don't see it, man. It's really, really crazy, man. And that's because of all the these iPads and the cell phones and the, 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 the cable and all of that electronics. If you're not aware of it, then it does more harm to you. Okay? But if you're aware of it, the most harm it'll do to you will be physical. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you're not aware of it, it does the spiritual thing and the physical thing. And I got one person now. What you got? What What you got for that? Oh, well, we got plenty of things for that. But uh, I'm gonna get to that. Uh, we have a person now who uh, I, I don't like to call anybody a patient, but uh, you know that are full of all kind of implants and chips. And so mm. we're directing her in the right way. But how are you going to come to, to me for the type of technology to come back, which is wrong with you, while you're still eating chicken, you're still eating um, 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 sweet potatoes, you're still eating all kind of, all that garbage going into your body, you can't fight shit off. I don't give a damn what you do. Those, all that food you just put in your body got implants in it. Okay, mm. they, put, they put demonic spirits in purified water. That's why they purify it. So, you, so they could do their rituals and send that water out, and you, you know, you think you're getting fresh, good, clean water. They got nothing in it but spirits. What they put in it, the food, as you as well as I know, that anything you buy that's got packaging on a shelf is poison. It's got arsenic in it, high levels of arsenic. You, you can't even, you, you, everything out here is for mind control, and if you don't uh, go along with the mind control, death. And that's what the food is all about. That's what the food is all about. So you could you could go like we used to drink Kadem grape juice, which I recommend to a lot of people because it was the only damn grape juice out here. But we hooked up with some people who actually have a grape vine, a vineyard up in upstate New York, and they come down every summer and give you fresh crushed grapes. So now and then, as you grow in knowledge, yeah. you realize that everything in the store, if it's in a package, how the fuck does grape juice stay on the shelf for three weeks? Where when exactly. they, they just burn the grapes down from, from it, it just crushed, and you put it on your table for one day, that shit's going to turn to wine. Yep. You see? So that's the difference in what you're getting purposely. And all you got to do is go back, and I don't know if you got my email, brother, but I just sent you five of the matrixes. If oh, you yeah, go back yeah and, I didn't appreciate you. Thank you. Yes, brother. If you read those matrixes, you'll see in there... They systematically started this going all the way back to Rome, or further back. Yeah, we did it as in a positive way. We we used mind control in a positive way when we were dealing with the Hashishim. Yes, they get all mind control from us, but they, they they don't have the melanin, the sufficient amount of melanin to put the love into it to cause you right. to use it in a positive way. That's why you. I mean, if you if you really, to be honest with you. The black man has what we call a black man. I call them more, but so that people listening can understand what, you know, what I'm trying to say to them as far as us as melanated beings. They don't have the capacity to love like you do. They don't have that. Okay? The mm -hmm. ones that do have it, they're not even white. You don't even see mm. real white people anymore. Most of them can't even come outside. Real, real white people can't even come outside anymore. Okay? And this is... This is a fact. Right. If you, if you, now, you go outside and you go down south or wherever, you see a redneck. That ain't a real redneck. His eyes are brown. Okay? That's melanin. Okay? That's right. melanin. That means he got some black somewhere in his family. 
Okay. And 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 to quote a scientist on this, who this dude dealt with sexual energy, Wilhelm Reich. Wilhelm Reich said that. He said that the the Europeans that are being produced today need to terraform the planet in order them for them to survive. And that's what's going on. That's what's going on. So, but the good thing about that is that nature is on our side. So we no see doubt. something like a sandy. If you see like a sandy take place, that sandy right. actually. Where does sand come from? Africa. Okay? Right. Where's Af- that's Africa. They coordinated this whole, because they knew the city was coming. They couldn't stop it. They used harp to try to stop it. But it was actually dealing right. with our spiritual energy. It was actually dealing with our own spiritual energy, which was uh, 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 Mama Wifey or Lacoon or Oshun or one of those, or any other deity right. you want to apply to it. As long as you don't, Stick to that one deity, you won't limit its power. Right. You, see, you call it by many names. If you say a prayer, you call those. You say that prayer in many, many, many names. Learn as many names as you possibly can to give it those different dimensions of power. Okay. Mm. And gotcha. you always say those words through the vesica Pisces. You put your hands up like the right. shape of the vagina. Okay. And right. I'm, I'm a test of, that's like if you had a basketball game and you hollering and shit. Nigga, that shit is intensified when you do your hands like that. Right. You see what I'm saying? So uh, we had Sandy, and right after that you had the Sandy Hook. Of course, they trying to coordinate with, see, because that's the deception. Because that Sandy really ain't messed nobody up but Europeans. Anytime you see, and I said this before on many uh, radio shows, anytime you see that there's uh, a disaster happen to Europeans, that's nature. But if you see it happen to any place that's African or, or Moorish or uh, indigenous, then that's harp. Okay? Because we knew how to build and where to build. We wasn't fucking stupid. Like they pretend to make you seem like. Oh, they just had a fucking earthquake and killed every that's fucking true. body. That's bullshit. We know right. how to set up our... We know where to set up. We know when the land is safe. All right? So that was caused, of course, by uh, Harp. But Harp used an entity that they never put back to sleep. There's a, there's a huge entity that they that Tucson the Overture and them had used that was never put back to sleep. Okay? Mm. All right? So there's a couple of movies that I think everyone should go see. Because lately I've been talking a lot about how to get, move away from European society. Because, to be honest with you, if they really wanted to fix this economy, all they got to do is give niggas reparations. To be honest. They don't want to fix this shit. Right. It's bullshit. No, they don't want to fix it, bro. They could easily fix it. Look, more science says that rich always take care of the poor. That's how society stays equal and level. Rich, take care of poor. If you rich, nigga, you born rich because you're supposed to come take care of poor niggas. Okay, that's more science. They're not doing that, bro. That's why they, that's why they uh, 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 declared, decreed all type of shit on different, on different levels of more in different ages. Some ages we don't even fucking know about. Okay, and when I say ages, I'm talking decades, not hundreds of years, not thousand years. I'm talking decades when it comes to them. Right. Okay. So, so they're still their program is still going on today. Their program is still going on today. So, okay, we don't want to tax the so-called. This is politics now. I'm talking. We don't want to tax the the middle class. We're just going to tax the rich and guess who else? The poor. Okay, because they want to do away. After pushing you into an area where you think you're poor, now we want to do away with the poor, okay? Because poor is really, we all know, a state of mind. A state of mind. Because every nigga I know that say he broke and ain't got this and got that, got on $100 sneakers and so forth, $300 jeans and all that. All right? Yeah, brother, so... There's a very interesting movie that just came out 
in Germany, but you could watch it on Netflix or you could rent it. And it's called Hell. And in that movie, it shows you how the planet Earth heats up five degrees. And once it heats up five degrees, it shows you how Europeans just start going crazy and revert mm. back like a savage nature and start killing each other and all of this. This is it's a brand new movie, and it's dealing with global warming. The Earth heats up five degrees. Now you got to understand mm. the difference between us and them when it comes to melanin. Right. Let's look at it like this: we are very similar when it comes to. Uh, radiation when you're dealing with roaches. Roaches, we are like the roaches. Roaches are not insects, but they are bugs. And those bugs never kill each other. But they will sometimes congregate and hang out with each other, but they don't have no system, you know, like bees and ants, kings, queens, and all that. They don't have a system. They're outside of the insect system. And they just hang out over there in the corner together sometimes. You see them hang out over there, but most of the time you see one there, one there. They just do what the fuck they want. That's the roach. <laughs> you got to understand that. This nigga is radioactive resistant, like you. You are more radioactive resistant than the European. Okay. This, he can't be fucking killed. The roach cannot be killed. This is the oldest living thing on planet Earth, and they come from Mars, and they grow from dead tree roots, okay? Because how do you know that? Because all insects, the roach, the termite, the, uh, excuse me, bugs, those bugs release methane, and we know that on the surface of Mars is heavy methane, Okay, so we are similar to those roaches. They brown with fucking black crow on their ass. So you got to understand why we don't fit into their system, because they're thinking like insects, kings, soldiers, workers. Meanwhile, you're thinking like a roach. Freedom. Okay, so we downgrade and we look at, if you, just like even in the Bible tell you to watch the ant. Okay, how the strength that the ant have. Oh, I'm telling you to watch the roach. Okay, watch the roach. It's smaller. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? And if you watch the roach, you will know your fucking self. Because they act just like niggas. They eat any fucking thing. <laughs> A nigga eat any fucking thing. You hear me? <laughs> and still survive. Right. So... Roaches and uh, termites, flies, all of those are bugs. And, you know, you have the uh, insects, which are ants, and and they, those, those systems are cool, too, if that's what you want to be in. If you want to get up and go to 9 to 5 every day as a worker, and that's your job until you die to serve the queen, cool. You know what I'm saying? That is, you know, some people are born to do that. Maybe they came to do that. But, uh, you know, I'm going to do right. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's no wonder the roaches hang around us more than any fucking body else. <laughs> Ain't that something? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, if you go to YouTube, right? Go to YouTube. There's an old television series. There's an old television series that came out, I think, right before Wonder Woman series. And it was called ISIS. It's called ISIS, and you can watch this on YouTube. And it's very powerful. The show starts off breaking down who ISIS is, showing a black woman. Okay, that's how it comes mm -hmm. on. Right. Now, when the show comes on and she changes from who she is to from her normal personality to Wonder Woman, she has to do all these Egyptian incantations. And then she turns into uh, Isis. And when she turns into Isis, her powers are very interesting. Her powers are she could stop time and rewind time and make things levitate. Okay? So now that's very interesting that they would put 
come out with this old TV. This, I'm now remind you, this comes out in the 70s. And I'm pretty sure it slept by on, a lot of people slept on it. But if you watch it, it's almost positive the guy that made this TV series was an occultist. But they had to hide it because the show is corny. It's all about white life and be good and all that shit. But what they're doing is showing all the power and the magic in the incantations that she's using in this ISIS TV series. And the reason why she, and, and see, you got to remember, her powers, when she's able to stop time, deals with infinity. And that's what the black woman is, infinity, just like the black man is eternity. So it's a very interesting, and for anything, anybody who wants to check this out, you just go to YouTube and type in ISIS. This is, is really, really interesting. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a whole bunch of TV shows I think we've got to go back and look at. Okay, we've got to go back and look at uh, uh, um, Gone with the Wind. Where, where the mammy in there came up with the term white trash, calling these, these white children white trash all through the movies. You see? And that's a heavy, heavy, heavy movie. The most, the, the, one of the heaviest movies I've seen recently is Abraham Lincoln versus the Vampires, where Frederick Douglass was supposed to go on a mission, but he told Abraham Lincoln, well, you got to make me a writ so I could get there, or they're going to uh, mistake me for a slave. So he wrote him a, huh? Yeah. Exactly what he said. That's what he said. And then the whole movie was basically about silver. Okay? Silver. Right. That was the only way they could defeat the so called bankers who were vampires in the movie. Okay? Very heavy movie. I mean, you got to watch the, the, that whole movie is just dropping a lot of uh, powerful, powerful information. Yeah. Uh, so let me touch a little bit on some of the, I just did a class at the National Black Theater last week called Superfood, and we talked a lot about some of the food that a person may want to, uh, if you can find it in your neighborhood, try, you know, you could do it if you really, uh, put a, a strong effort into it, um, in your farmer's markets or your mark, your open door type markets may have these types of foods. And uh, one is the dulce seaweed. Um, you may have to, if you live in a city, you may have to go to a health food store for that one. But that is one of the foods you want to have right now. That's a superfood. And you could crush that up uh, after uh, it dry. You could dry it out and crush it up and make a, a nice uh, um, avocado dip with uh, and put some hemp seeds in there too, which all three of those are powerful superfoods. Really, really powerful uh, type food. Uh, and, and see, the avocado, and the reason why I'm saying this is I get these questions a lot. The avocado is really, really good to replace meat. And so is the hemp seed because the hemp seed kind of has like a, uh, almost like a bready kind of uh, texture, but it's not bread at all. It's the hemp seed, it, you know, itself, superfood. Uh, purple kale is another one. Uh, the green kale, I, I used to get that, but then they started genetically modifying that. You know, it has like G, some of that has GMOs. And I don't know which one. So the purple kale is the original. So I said, okay, now I'm gonna just stick directly to the purple kale now. And I, you know, I see that in a lot of supermarkets. So if you go to not a lot of supermarkets, but I see that in a one called Fairway. Um, you could probably get it uh, definitely at the farmers market. I think they have two or three different varieties. One is from Russia. Um, you want to get that. And then if you can find, right, this is around the season for this right now, is the purple pear. The purple pear is a small, uh, one of the smaller pears, and a pear is actually better than an apple because the uh, uh, the apple comes from the pear, actually. Uh, so you want to get the pear, the purple pear. Even if you can't get the purple pear, any pear is, is good. And apple is not bad either. Uh, it's just that uh, I, I prefer the pear, the fiber in the pear. The pear is just a much better animal. Then um, the the apple has too much sugar, I think. Then you have the uh, purple corn, uh, which you can um, usually you can't usually you don't see it on the stalk, but they'll have like the kernels in a bag for you to pop, like a popping corn. You can find it like that, and that you can probably find online or any super any uh, health food supermarket. And of course, my favorite, the purple potatoes. Even though I don't eat them that much. But anytime you feel like you get a strong, if you're coming off of meat and you're getting a strong meat craving, 
that's the that's might be the root to get. It's a root. Uh, edible root uh, is the purple potato, and then the purple carrot is really really good. And I thought it tastes just like the orange carrot until I ate one, and no way, man, that it tastes way better. Uh, uh, if it has to be purple on the inside too, though, uh, and that is good for the crown chakra. Uh, and then the purple broccoli, of course. But I don't recommend broccoli unless you're dealing with somebody who is has cancer or something like that. Otherwise, I wouldn't even eat it because it's not really food. Uh, it was discovered by the French, and the French uh, just was starving and shit, and they just saw a bunch of bushes and said, yo, let's eat that shit. But most of the uh, foods and most of the plants that are in nature are edible. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, and most of the trees that you see, just the trees you're walking down the street, you can eat almost all of those leaves on all those trees while they're, while they're coming in, when they're real small. Once they get big, you can't eat them no more. It's too strong. All the sap travels from the tree up into the leaves. So you got to catch it while, uh, like in the spring, when, when the trees are just, just starting to bud, you can eat any of those leaves of any of those trees except for maybe one or two, and those are not in our region, and one is the yew tree. Okay? So it's full abundant all around you. There's a tree that's abundant here in New York, in Harlem. And I'm mentioning trees because it's really dealing a lot with spirits. And it's also dealing with you as a tree and your family tree. It's a, it is so symbolic. If you, even if you go back into Egypt, you'll see the reliefs have sometimes where ice is inside a sycamore tree. Uh, the sycamore tree, uh, the reason why they had, and it's a female tree, the whole species is female. Most species have male and female, but the sycamore is a uh, entire uh, species of female trees, and it um, is that way because they call it a female tree because of the it always gets a vagina at the trunk. It opens up, and if you are in a place where you can't get any water, and or the water around there is poisonous, and that tree is in bloom, you can tap that tree to get fresh water because those sycamore trees clean the water that's around it, and that's that'll be a fresh, the, probably the most purest water you ever tasted in your life is coming out of that sycamore tree. They're easy to spot because they look like camouflage. They, they have that that uh, that marine camouflage uniform shit. That's where they get it from, is that tree. You know, so those are all things that's dealing with nature elements. Those are the things that, to survive, in my opinion, in this Dimensional shift, because we definitely went through a dimensional shift. That's what Sandy was all about. That's what all these storms that are coming, and because we had two or three more right after that in New York that they kept quiet. Uh, one the other day where the wind was extremely high, which I it was it didn't feel normal to me. But a lot of that is coming through, so it's better to for a person that is heavily heavily melanated to get very very close to nature. Okay, begin to. Yeah, and you can start easily just by picking a tree or a animal or a insect and just study that one insect and know it to its fullest extent. And then you'll begin to see certain things unfold, some incredible things. I mean, I'm at the, play, I'm at the point now where I don't even want to kill a roach, okay? So just to honor nature, to show you that, because nature could devastate you. It could kill you instantly. Just like, uh, and I always tell people this, anytime a storm comes, It'd be knocking them niggas all upside their head, crushing their houses and cars and everything. Army of fucking trees, you see? So so, so you got to understand, trees, plants, those are the oldest creatures on planet Earth. We can't even compare to them. We call ourselves God, man. Them niggas is, trees come from Mars along with the damn fucking roaches. And so did you. So this stuff is very, very ancient. Very, very ancient. So we, we, for us to continue, continue to... Step outside our nature and go into a world of insects. Insects, when they come to kill you, they don't have no emotions like humans do. They just kill, okay? They just want something done. Nigga, and if you don't do it, your shit, your ass is gone. That's how insects, insects are supposed to be more intelligent, but they will kill each other. Bugs are supposed to be less intelligent, but they will not kill each other. Isn't that very interesting, brother? So... So oh, yeah. these are the elements that you begin with just to even understand magic. Just to even understand how magic works, you've got to understand the workings of nature. You've got to understand that the ground is dealing, anything coming out of the ground, the trees and all of that, that's 
called low magic. Now, low magic, of course, we know don't mean that it's low, 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 okay? It just means it's coming up out of the earth, as opposed to high magic, which is actually dealing with you going directly to the spirits. If you think you're bad enough, you go directly to the spirits. And I recommend for those novices is to begin with prayer. Like I said, the Vesica Pisces, and speak those incantations through that Vesica Pisces. You see? So, Mm -hmm. nature is one of the things we're going to have to tap back into. Like, at the class today, a brother asked me, you're going to have more classes on meditation. You know, what is meditation? They asked me, too, today. And I said, you've been practicing meditation, and you're asking me what it is? No, I just want to see what you know. Okay? So, most of the time, you will or go to a a retreat or whatever or go into a meditation and most of that information that we get on meditation comes out from the the New Age movement which was of course after Randolph and Blavatsky and all that whole story right there so we get a lot of this and not putting the brother down Montauk Chia I like his stuff but it's, it's almost as if a lot of that stuff is not Acclimated to melanated people And a lot of that right. stuff He holds back on a lot of things For instance When yeah, you meditate he huh? He yeah does. when you see the caduceus When you look at that caduceus You see the two serpents going up We know that means kundalini and all of that Okay we know it means The, the rising of the kundalini But where is it rising from It's rising up from In actuality either the male penis or the female clitoris. Meditation was when you sat there and they tell you to sit quietly and clear the mind and all that, your mind is supposed to be cleared so that the energy, your penis is supposed to get hard and the energy of your penis circulates from the pineal gland back to the penis, and that was the caduceus. And the female, which a lot of brothers don't know, has an erection just like you do in the morning. And she's supposed to do the same thing in meditation, is connect to that lower nature with the higher nature. That's balance. You see? Not to clean your mind and there's no God out there. And then you the God that's out there. Your energy, your thoughts. Okay, that big pool that you're going back to. But in Buddhism, they teach you, to, and I think, I'm not sure, but I think in the nation of Islam, when you die, that's it. Nothing's after that. But everything, right. me and you, we know everything is energy. Right. So... Your energy is supposed to circulate in a meditation, just a plain, regular meditation that ain't got no science in it or nothing, just a regular meditation. Your penis is supposed to be hard or her clitoris erect, moving in a circular motion through the pineal gland. That's what you're supposed to be concentrating on, you see. But, you know, if you read these books out here and you go to those, those meditation centers and all of that, you know, that's, it, it feels almost like your sexuality is actually suppressed. It is suppressed, and it's done yeah. purposely. Yeah. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So so now I guess it's time people like yourself, people like myself, people like a Phil Valentine are going to have to start really showing people what meditation is actually all about and start teaching no it because, about it. yeah, because what's happening is if, if they don't do that, that sexual energy gets pulled to whoever is directing it. And they use it, they right. can send that sexual energy, energy out and get whatever they want done. You understand? So you're sitting there, yeah. you've got your mind clear. When you clear your mind, guess what? Makes it easy for shit to go in. True. As a matter of fact, um, my teacher, um, Grandmaster Sun Yada says, Swati got on um, Mantak Chia for not teaching um, the proper Tibetan meditations for the woman. Mm-hmm. And it was like he was suppressing. It was like he was suppressing the woman nature. You know, the woman um, energy is supposed to go up the front and down the spine. You yep. know, he was teaching. He was teaching her to go up the back and down the front. No, the brother, no, way, the no. Way, the same way that the man was doing it. So you know, no. um, you know, Grandma Sanyata got on him about you know why he's trying to suppress the um you know the female energy. You know what's up with that? You know well, now. Yeah. You know, 
Mm-hmm. Go ahead. What, what did Evelyn Champagne King say? Love what? Love come down. Right, right, right. Her energy comes down, but it doesn't come down the same way the man's come down. It's it's almost like right. a mirror reflection. Right. You see, men, what, what happens when your penis get hard? That shit look like it's pointing up, looking like a motherfucking turtle looking out a fucking shell. <laughs> it shit okay. traveling up. Because the female we know, really, sexuality starts in her mind. So it has to come down from the brain first for her to register. When you when you stimulate a woman, you better be working from the neck up and then work your way down. You better not be starting down there. You are, you will get to that in trouble. You, you see what I'm saying? But if she start down there with you, you like yeah. Most niggas like yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the energy travels like that. And see now when a man ejaculates, it reverses. Now you see me now. That's just coming down. It reverses. So when it, when it reverses, guess what happens? When that semen reverses, he loses that semen, which, by the way, uh, in my opinion, all sexual acts are some form of sex magic in, in some form or fashion. But right. when the man has an ejaculation, he actually loses his semen represents male energy. When he loses that male energy, it has to be replaced on an emergency level and the only thing that replaces it until the, until the male energy refills itself is female energy. Okay? So at the moment of ejaculation, until you replenish, for some people it's up to seven days, you're functioning more, you're functioning with more female energy rather than male energy. And then the more male energy you lose, the more physical reality lessons you got to go through. But if you retain your spiritual energy, which is your male energy, by keeping a good balance, you experience your lessons spiritually. You won't have to physically do that shit. But you have to be either in balance or more on the male energy side. So when you're balanced, you don't have to, if, if, unless you have the choice. When you're balanced, you have the choice. Do I want to experience this lesson physically? Do I want to go through this shit? Or do I want to figure it out in my head and go through it spiritually and deal with it on a, or with, my, with my magic or whatever? You see? So if you, but if you lose the male energy, you've got to deal with it on a physical level. That's how the lessons work. You see? So any, no any questions? You want to open it up, brother, for for any uh, questions for the audience? Yep. Or? yep. Let's go to area code three one four. Area code three one four. You're on the line. Definitely a lot of spiritual energy right there. Let me see. Get back on here. Okay. Is on reason. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, uh, brother, I just want to mention my website, which is azazil.com, where you can go there. And I just put up a slew of articles and websites of dealing with Wilhelm Reich, dealing with the Montauk Project, and Oregon, and uh, all kind of new stuff I just put up there as far as you could. Free stuff, all kind of videos. Um and speaking of videos, there's one video that I found that I had wrote about in my book. Um, and I don't know if this, if anybody knows this or not, but I'm sure some people do. There are actually animals on planet Earth that do not die. Okay. I, I, okay. I, I, that's the first time hearing that. Uh, no, not you, brother. I know you. <laughs> but there are animals that do not die? There are animals that do not die on planet Earth. Okay? okay. Now, get my new book, and I put one of the animals in in my book. You can read about it. But one is the jellyfish. The jellyfish actually grows, then reverses to a child again, 
then goes and grows again, then reverts back to a child and continue to grow. Huh. And they can grow as big as a damn nebula. Okay, and this is well documented. They're actually doing uh, a fountain of use test with the jellyfish now to extend their lives. Okay. The jellyfish does not die. Okay? And it's symbolic of how humans, how we are born, and when we are born, we are children, and that, ch that child time is your rest period before you got to get your ass on, on work or whatever you got to do. But you come here to rest for a little while. And that's why they always, you always hear, oh, what about the children? Save the children and all of that, because they are resting. That's why they uh -huh. came and, and as children. They could have been born adults, but they were born children, so they could, so you could wipe their ass and do all that stuff. They ain't got to do right. shit but play. But they grow old, and then when you get to, like, really, really old in modern times, you revert back to the childhood. The only thing is you don't bounce back like the jellyfish. We lost something. Okay. Okay? Because we were immortal, and we are immortal still today. That gene of immortality lives within us. Not only spiritually immortal, but physically. If you okay. go on the island of Penn Guy, there's a guy over there that's 850. There are people wow. now, there's three or four people that they document is over 300, and most of the tribes they found in the Amazon, the youngest ones were 200, 300 years old. And then you can look at Henrietta Lacks. And the relax okay. cells are still alive today. They use a laboratory to cure every damn sickness because our cells won't die. Huh. So we are immortal. You must understand that. Okay. The jellyfish presents as immortality. If you go on on my website, I got the videos, everything up there. You can look at all of that for yourself. So all immortality, right. we've been trained to think everything must die. That is not true. Why I can go outside today and look at a tree, die, and come back 100 years later, that same tree is still there. Hmm. Okay? You got trees on this planet that are thousands of years old. Thousands, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I bet. Yeah, I already, yeah. Yes. So death is European. I, I, I'm willing to bet. Once we get back into who we are as Moors, clean it up and get back that integrity that we had, there will be no more death. Mm -hmm. Okay? The spirit and the physical will merge. One won't live inside the other. They'll merge. Okay. There'll be one. Yeah, I was listening to what you were saying earlier about the, uh, after the Hurricane Sandy, you had about three more, three or four more storms in New mm -hmm. York. And, uh, yeah. If they did, they did keep that, keep that under wraps. Yeah, they, were, they weren't really big storm. One was a big windstorm, and the last one was a big uh, snowstorm. Okay. Uh, but, yeah, they, they, they didn't say much about that. No, no. Okay. But it was a strange wind to it and a strange air to it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I noticed you've been, uh, I noticed you've uh, probably been keeping tabs on what this, this bullshit about the, uh, the, the fiscal cliff thing that uh, Barack Obama and them, and the Republicans, you know, all of them were talking about uh, they 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 couldn't reach, reach hardly reach an agreement until New Year's Day, you know. So, what do you think that was about? Uh, that's a distraction, mind control, and all of that. Uh, they're going to do what they do, no matter what you know. They're going to do what they do. Um, so that's that's a lot of that is uh, Big Brother. You know, if you go see George Orwell's Big Brother, uh -huh. uh, you'll see. You'll see, if you go see George Orwell's Big Brother, uh -huh. you'll see a lot of that. If you had watched it years ago, you go, wow, that's really going to happen? Now it's like, damn, that's what's going on now. Uh -huh. You understand? So so put the frog in the pot theory, you know? Okay. You put it in the warm water and heat it up, the motherfucker just stay there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you boil and shit. So that, that's what's going on. That kind of stuff I really didn't pay too much attention to. But they they uh, they're going to do a lot of rituals dealing with the number thirteen this year, uh, and the number thirteen, of course, being uh, the year twenty, so called the European calendar thir uh, twenty thirteen. Uh, he's going to do he's got to do rituals to make it memorable, and to make it solidify in his timeline. It, could, it has to be a glitch or a spot in this timeline that he can come back to, 
And so he started off with the Sandy Hook, the Sandy and all of that. And then um, we just had some spiritual power come down to us, for those of who knew, which was this was the 13th moon and if, in, in, in New York. Uh, I was at a lecture, and there was no women there. So I thought that was very, very interesting. Right. Uh, no okay. women out there, and it was the 13th moon on, in, the thir- in 2013. So it was really interesting power going on there. So all you need is one more 13 to complete a cycle of powerful energy which is 13 by 13 by 13 um, a type of matrix, which the female represents. So it was a very powerful energy from this, this time we're in right now, from the last full moon to the next full moon, is this some type of strong uh, certification of a female energy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I was uh, also uh, the age of Aquarius. This is mm-hmm. more age for us, ain't it, than it is for the Europeans. Uh, well, you know, um, I'm not a really, really big, big fan of of of, of the zodiac or, the, or what we call the horoscope or the astrology that's in our solar system. Okay. Um, being that uh, our solar system has a history of a lot of objects that are satellites and so forth, and taking out planets like Pluto and such and such. So mainly, I look at how the outer constellations travel. How, how we are centered in that sea of outer constellations and how they work on us coming and how, you know, energy coming down from Polaris, uh, from Draco, and all of these different uh, uh, energies that are, are actually further out but bigger. Okay. You know, these, these suns and these star systems. So there's a lot of that going on. But on our Earth here, we tend to only look at what's right in front of us. Okay, right. which is good, which is good, but since we're living in a, 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 a deceptive, uh, which is starting to clear its way, but in a deceptive, uh, uh, oppressive, uh, 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 demonic, uh, I shouldn't say demonic, I'd say a savage system that you can't really trust any book that you ever read or any chart you ever seen, you can't really trust that to be your map for what's out there, you're going to have to go with the, the, the very ones you can see, which is the moon and the sun. You're going to have to go with that. And a few stars, you can see Polaris, you can see that. And at times you can see Jupiter. I would go with it, the ones that I see the most, which is the sun and the moon. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I was, I was, other, other than you were talking about harp earlier also. Uh, yeah. They try to use harp to suppress those other storms. And that shows me that heart has its limitations, what it can oh, yeah. and what it cannot do. And of course it has its limitations because every society controls their own weather through their thoughts. You know, so so your thoughts control the weather of, the, of, of New York. Basically, the thoughts of the people on a certain frequency protect New York, okay, protect certain areas in New York. You know, just having a certain person around you protects you. You oh, understand okay. if you're getting a crowd of people. They, so so there's this certain protection based on the energy of the people in that particular place, okay? Who are there, you know? Are they, they close to nature? Are they, what are they doing? Is this the spark? Or, you know, whatever it is. Nature sees all that, you understand me? Because everything, in, in my opinion, that you see in these foreign countries, we are the originators of, of wearing your pants down and all of that. I'm starting to see that in Africa and every damn where. Everything we do is watched like a microscope, and it is the in thing to do, even though they're like 10 years behind, 6 years behind. Mm-hmm. Okay? So so the energy travels all over the planet, just like the clouds. Your your thoughts get caught up into clouds, and the cloud is, is might be over you right now, but that shit's going to be somewhere in China next, the next day. Right. So that's how humanity functions based on the thoughts of other uh, uh, species of humanity. They learn mm-hmm. from it. Yes, you see? Yes. And we all have yes. species mind patterns. That's why uh, uh, you might have an Afro and millions and millions of people might have Afros but not related to each other. They're bullshit. You're mm-hmm. related to each other based on your species, your thinking. You think like me, nigga. Even though you're a fucking knuckle dragon and you ain't got no goddamn sense. You look like me, that's enough. Because mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. a thought. And those are thought patterns. You are thought to take the melanin. You are thought to take the woolly hair. Now, of course, we are more uh, learned than that to accept 
an individual just because they look like you, of course. But that's not what I'm talking about on the physical realm. I'm talking about how the energy works as far as the species is concerned on the astral plane. It causes you to think a certain way to have the certain shade that you have and a certain texture of your hair. Every animal, every human, every type of human, or subhuman, every insect, every tree, all of them have species mind patterns. That's why okay. you see that's why you don't see all kind of insects mixed up together. Because they function directly from their species mind pattern. Some of them mm-hmm. function from instinct, some of them function from thought. And we function from thought. Some function from instinct. One is not better than the other. For instance, a shark, we can't smell more than a mile, but a shark can smell blood underwater 30 miles away. Huh. Instinct. So one is not better than the other. It's just different. You understand me? A dog right. Right. can smell damn near across a whole damn forest and find your ass and track you down just by what he smell. You understand me? Right, right. Indeed, brother. Yes. Uh, you talk about the movie uh, Abe Lincoln, Vampire Hunter, uh, like they use uh, silver to combat the uh, uh, European bankers. And yeah. why was silver instead of gold was used? Because gold is not a purifier. Gold is a good protection. Gold is a good intensifier. That's why the Egyptians wore gold, because that's why you remember their civilization more than anybody else, because it intensified their civilization. So, and gold does not deteriorate. It does disappear, though. If you hold gold in your hand for as long as it takes, it will actually disappear into nothingness, huh. you see. So, but it doesn't deteriorate, Okay. It keeps its polish and its shine, no matter what you do. So it became, uh, and then the energy, the 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 electromagnetic energy that it produces also. So it's it's, it's very good though now, especially okay. if you have melanin. Especially if you have melanin, it will intensify that blackness that you have. You even see some of the Egyptians uh, painted the, the the guards, and, and I think it was in Kintas, painted face black. I think it was. I'm not sure. And and black and gold, you see, which are both those colors are represented as being in uh, gold being intensification and black being deepness. Meaning no, right. Right. Two tin mm-hmm. Right. Two Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Thank you, brother. Thank but, you. Professor uh, L. And then, huh? Professor, hold, hold on a second. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pull in another call here. Okay, brother. Um. And I didn't want to, you to miss your point um, either, um, um, Azariah, but okay. um, I want to pull in this other call right quick. Two, um, 205, area code 205. Mm-hmm. Hey. Peace. Peace, my brother. How's everything? Everybody still there? Everything is good. I'm, I'm still here. I'm- yeah. Okay, uh, so I was going into um, the, the colors black and gold as far as the, the as uh, moving toward currency. Um, black and gold is not the first two colors that was used by Africans. It was actually red and gold. And the red and gold was the red gold called copper. It was copper and gold, uh, copper and black, excuse me, copper and black. And then later it was gold and black because copper was your is your original is who you are it's, it's actually i believe the first yes, molecule sir. of melanin so copper which i highly advise you grab it up now because it's getting ready to jump sky high and uh this is from various sources <laughs> silver and gold is kind of fluctuating now but it's double what it was when i first saw it silver is a great purifier a very, very powerful purifier, and it has so many uh, uses that it's incredible. Um, it dispels... Every time you see a, a horror movie, especially like a vampire movie or a werewolf, uh-huh. the only thing that can really stop it is that silver. Okay? So right, what is it talking about well, when it's talking right, about... Brother. Yeah, what is it talking about when it's talking about werewolves and vampires? Well, you have vampires that can live off your auric field. You can have a vampire living off your auric field. Entities, demonic entities, even insects, even insects got astral bodies. 
you can have insects in your auric field, spiders that could put up fucking webs. You don't know why the fuck you tripping over shit or why shit ain't going right. So silver was known to purify that type of vampire, okay? Then you also had zombies that could get into your auric field, okay? Zombies, werewolves, uh, vampires, and zombies, okay? And zombies are uh, um, dead animals that you didn't bury. Mm-hmm. Or somebody didn't bury, and you look like their master. You know, that's why they got pet cemeteries. The Native Americans had pet cemeteries, bro. We done lost all our shit. Oh, yeah, that's, that's most definitely we did. Uh, yeah, and most of the people, most of the people walking out around that are not on uh, a super conscious, I can't say conscious because everybody's fucking conscious of something. So I say super conscious. We're in 2012, the, uh, 2013, and, and you're not super conscious by now? That means you ain't supposed to be super conscious, and you're supposed to do and be where you at when shit go down. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. I know that uh, in every uh, horror movie they had the silver bullets. Uh, the silver bullets can kill a werewolf. Uh, mm-hmm. The silver cross can kill a vampire. Uh, silver, you can put silver, a silver, silver, silver coin. Silver. You could get a brand new silver coin and put it in your water to purify your water. Okay. Okay. Silver is a very, very useful tool. It will pull all kind of impurities out of your body, like charcoal. Damn near like charcoal. Okay? So wow. silver is a very useful... We, we use these metals not as, oh, I got to have all the silver and gold. It was abundant with us. We didn't look at it that way. When this European came, it was shiny. He wanted it all. For what? It's just sitting there. Huh. No, it's... It's made to be used. That's why it's called what? What is it called? Okay. Currency. Currency is designed to flow. Okay, but they want to hold on to it. Most of the time they usually use gold as dominant over silver, you know. And what what you're telling me now is, is really not. Brother, we can't believe shit they say. They got the maps all upside down and shit. Africa got all that shit upside down. And you believe what they say? Look, copper was number one, bro. Copper was number one as far as the metals went, as far as the useful metals, as far as currency. Okay? So silver and gold were in competition with each other, but guess what? In order to have gold coins, you got to put silver in it to make it hard and shiny. So the gold coins are uh, 10% silver, and the silver is there to make the, co- the gold coin uh, hard, because if you didn't put the silver in, it would be able to bend, you'd be able to bend it with your free hands. Mm-hmm. You see? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that just shows you the value of all three of those metals, and there are other metals that are very valuable, like lead. And that's, the, that's, that's part of alchemy, right? Well, no, alchemy is a process of taking two components and creating an all-new component, which is the number three, the triangle. That's a different, that's a process. It's not okay. out of, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a process that you, or, or change or, or rays of the kundalini to merge with something else. It's to create a new thing from two things that you previously had. Okay? Okay. So, no, it wouldn't be alchemy in that sense, no. Okay. Now, we, we can go into the word alchemy and all that with alchem and all of that kind of stuff, dealing with, um, matter of fact, the word chemistry comes out of that. But right. uh, oh, alchemy is dealing with a deeper science, and usually in alchemy you create a good balance uh, in your magic if you do, uh, if, if you a uh, good alchemist, meaning that even in sexuality, uh, creating a good energy between you and your mate and bringing forth a creation as far as a thought form, uh, that's, that's a very, uh, if not number one alchemy, uh, in my opinion, I don't know about any motherfucking body else. Right, right. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody uh, talking about the movie Django with uh, uh, Jamie Foxx. So I'm going right. to probably check that movie out sometime next week. Well, yeah, we I'm, actually, yeah. I actually seen it this past week. And uh, we counted the word nigga in it 93 times. Wow. And, yeah. and, and my nephew was telling me that. 
Right. And the reason why we counted was because, you know, we heard um the stand up comedy of um Cat Williams who was going in on Jamie Foxx talking about how the word was used like a hundred and seventy six wanted to know accurately how many times it'll be used because I know in these movies there's always some type of code. You know, mm. and um as Brother Azariah already knows, you know, as being a um you know, a master of medicine, you know, we got to go and do these things and decode these movies, but in particular, the fact that it was used 93 times, you know, um, symbolized, you know, the fact that the sun is 93 million miles away. Also, the fact that the 93rd attribute of a law is, is the light. And, oh, yeah. you know, and the word nigga, uh, you know, of course, is derived from the word naga, and of course, naga means light or teacher <coughs> or god or king, you know, in, um, in his different translations. So, mm-hmm. you know, when you look at, you know, the word, you know, actually what they was doing was trying to take us back from not just the word nigga itself, but back to the actual origin of the word, which is naga. You know, um, and if you go and watch, um, you know, you would actually um what is being taught throughout the various countries, you know, of Africa, um, Cambodia, Asia, on up into Viet- um, Vietnam, into um, China, Japan, on across even into Mexico and the Americas. You know, so you would see the word Naga actually one of the oldest words actually still used to this very day. Mm-hmm. You know, so looking this is at that a national ID card of Naga Asiatic. Right, 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 right. And so the word Naga is is on um, one of those um power words in which that um me and brother Bobby Hemmett talked about on um on the Kutalini Rising um D V D that we did um a, a few years ago. But yes, I remember that. I remember that. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna go to Eric Code eight six zero eight Hello? Yes, brother. Peace, you Yeah, peace. Hey, hey. Um hey, how you doing, man? Um shit, I'm actually at work. I was in a bad spot. All right, um Quick question. Um, I just wanted to. I don't know. I, um, I seen one of your YouTube lectures. I just wanted, you know, I I knew you have a uh, website. I just wanted to know the website. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Azazil dot com. Azazil dot com. Yeah. Uh, a z z a z i e l dot com. All right, another another question. Um, what, what do you recommend uh, for readers uh, on uh, sex magic? Is that something beginning, you know, something to, that explains the basics? Um, I did two classes on something called black sex. I called it black sex so that people, because if I called it anything too esoteric, nobody would want to check it out. They, oh, that sounds crazy. So I call it black sex so everybody can relate to that to- that title. But it goes into some um, some basic stuff, takes you from the basic stuff all the way up into some higher level stuff. You know, like for instance, um, you can ask the question, why is there so much promiscuity, uh, mainly in, 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 in the melanated race, but really in all races, but more so with us because, you know, in the European, they can't really keep up with us any fucking way. So, so, so you ask that question, and, and, and you have to go to, from what I discovered, you have to go to Angola, which is, which is really near the Congo. It's not really in the Congo. It's, it's, um, it's in the center of Africa, near the Congo. Uh, but in Angola, what they did was, the tribes would, when a woman. All the women in the tribe was married to all the men. And whenever a man got with one of the women and they had a baby, the child was the son of all the men. And the the mother was the mother, all the mothers was the mother of that child. So it didn't matter what mother or what man slept with which women, all the children were their children no matter what. And that's what we come out of. And so that's where, when in, in the world today, cipher down thousands of years or hundreds of years, you get, 
you get a lot of promiscuity, and 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 it, it's 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 actually getting even almost returning back to its original state without our original mind. Right. Okay. Yeah. See? yeah. Wow. And, and this is on that lecture. Well, you, that, it talks about some historic stuff like that in in part one. I think it does. It's a two-part lecture, uh, Black Sex 1 and 2. Where, where can I find this? On the website. On the website, okay. All right. yeah. On the website again, Brother Azariah. Azariel.com, A-Z-Z-A-Z-I-E-L.com. And you could get Majade.com from there, where she has a lot of her magical talismans up there. And then what a lot of people don't know about her talismans, as a matter of fact, I'm glad I reminded myself to talk about it. <laughs> she uh, 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 Those talismans are not just pieces to look good on a person They are magical talismans We clean them with cedar, uh, the smoke of cedar We make sure all the crystals are clean We have laser technology You know, I have laser, I invested in laser technology to clean these crystals So that everybody's getting pure energy I could actually, if you have a crystal, you could bring it to me And I can even do that uh, Clean it for you because Sea salt water and all that don't really do it because you got to remember some of them crystals. You could sea salt a crystal that was grown, uh, you know, in a in a place, uh, a storehouse or whatever. But the crystals that come up out of the earth, those have to. You need a laser to fucking clean them shits because that's the earth energies coming down. It cleans the earth energies that as it travels toward the middle of the earth, it helps to clean it. And matter of fact, uh, they had a whole documentary on that. On uh, you probably can go online and, uh, on YouTube and see it. Where just going into a cave of all those crystals almost burnt them niggas up. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it almost burnt them. They had to back the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so it was burning up all the negativity, all the death, all the the bodies, making that fossil fuel. It was coming down. It was being cleansed by those crystals. So you need laser technology, you need a heat stronger than the heat that it can uh, produce. It's like using, uh, in most technologies today, they use crystals uh, with the laser. Okay, so the the, crystal, the laser, will, you could actually see the particles being flying out. Because uh, I did it uh, one time, I was at the National Black Theater, and I did it for somebody one time, and the, the, they said they seen the shit flying all off on the walls and whatnot, like I was drilling some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but the light reflects reflects that way, and you'll see sparks fly from the negative, either the negativity or whatever was inside that crystal. It could be positive, it could be negative. It don't, it, 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 you really won't know. But you will know once it's clean. It won't have either positive or negative. Your energy will go into it at that point. Okay. All right. Thank you, brother. So she, uh, so she has those types of talismans, copper. And all you got to do is take a look at her website, which is majade.com. That's M-A-J-A-D-E. Okay? M-A... Say that one more time. M-A-J-A-D-E. J-A-D-E. Dot com. Dot com. Gotcha. Right. And she got onks up there, Oregon, and all that stuff. And I got the same on my website. So, and we just produced, uh, if you go on my website, you'll see a new Oregon um, Eye of Heru uh, that I just put up, and very, very powerful. And I used the uh, the layering system, the Wilhelm Reich system, to build that particular one. Oh, okay. Nice. I, I made a few small pieces myself. So, mm-hmm. as far as organite. All right. Yeah. That's good, bro. You can get organ from organ means chi energy, but if you break it all the way down to its final to to, to what it really is, it's sexual energy. That's why Wilhelm Wright was only really studying sex because it's it's what makes that spasm that causes the ejaculation. Whatever causes that spasm is what causes the which is what causes the chi energy to flow or the sexual energy or what they call orgasm. Organic energy. It is the spasming of the of the of the orgasm. It's what it really is. So you can actually do. A, you can actually heal yourself by uh, getting with a person that is 
uh, of like minds and having sex with them and create, that's an organ device. Huh. Now, if she doesn't, if she's not, if she doesn't know how to break it down like you do or know what she's doing, just enjoying herself, then you become the magician. You get the energy. As long as you don't ejaculate first. Okay? And your wish is made. Your, your wishes get made. Your your petition is sent. Whatever you're thinking of at that particular point in time. But if you orgasm first, her petitions, whatever she's focusing on, is stronger. And, 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 and it becomes stronger because you just ejaculated and produced more female energy in your body. Uh, wow. 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 <laughs> Yeah. We're going to go to area code 786 Area code 786 mm-hmm. You're on the line Yes sir, how you doing Brother Aleem? Alright, we're doing good Brother brother L, I believe And Brother uh, yes, Azil Peace Yes brother, oh, Azil Peace and love baby. Oh yes Peace Alright And this is perfect for me It's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning I'm working actually Nice it's and It's 4 o'clock? I didn't even know it was that way. Uh, yes, but I, I, I chimed in late. I, I, when when did the show actually the, 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 the show actually start? It? Well, no, no. What I'm saying is I don't even keep time no more, brother. Sometimes I don't know what day it is. Oh, I'm trying. I chimed in late. I'm trying to get a direction of, of when did the, the show start? Oh, 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 show started at two o'clock. At two? Okay, two. Okay, great. I came in late. I heard you speaking on the. Uh, the senseless killings, and uh, you were talking about the mind talk. Um, but the the, 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 the the vibrations that I picked up from those senseless uh, alleged killings, um, about the uh, the situation over here in America, and also to the same day, I believe, uh, Dr. Lin, you mentioned the same day in Europe, somewhere in China, it went down about a number of 22, I believe. Right. Um, his name was um, Yin um, Jajun. Um, yeah, he um he stabbed up twenty two um children at an elementary school too the same day. As a matter of fact, um just hours before it took place here, um you know in um at the Sandy Hook. Yes, okay. brother. We know we know we know that's mind control. They do that. Matter of fact, it's getting to the point like it's it's they know they do, it's almost like you know that's mind control and it's expected. Right. They do like. like um, Right, so the sort of vibrations that I picked up on that, uh, you know, from what I've been studying from, you know, collectively, from all you brothers, you good brothers, is, is, is that is mind talk slash microchip related. That's what I'm picking up on. Uh, uh, some of it, if not all of it, some of it. Well, yes, you, you, well, you got to remember now, mind talk was just a beginning project that started back in the forties with. The, at Camp Hero, that right. you know, that 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 program has since been moved, and it's it's so big now that the average uh, the the average Target or the average Walmart got their own forms of mind control. Uh, Disney got their own form of mind control. It's a product that they it's like they sell prisons, like they go and and, and, and get the new jobs in prison. The same thing with mind control. You see, so people purchase the mind control because we want to have 30 commercials for every five minutes of TV. You know, we want to have an hour of commercials and only half an hour of watching a damn TV show. So, so, so you got to understand something. The mind control that was learned at Montauk, which also dealt with magic because Crawley went there and taught uh, there. I think he was there at the same time as, I'm not sure if it was Manly P. Hall, but some, it was quite a few of them. But they were taught this. Uh, Crowley taught the magical aspects to, to apply to the Delta T antenna programmers. You see, and he was trying to do some work over on in Lands End, which was in, on the point of England, which is their form of mind talk over on that point, and where he had these. If you get pictures of it or go look over there, you see these megalithic uh, uh, structures that look like Stonehenge over there. Just. But the, you know, you really hear it or see it in the conspiracy magazines. But it's just like Stone Edge, but these little uh, different the, the different uh, areas over in that particular point, which points directly to Montauk. So, so it has spiritual, 
It has ghost implications. It has mind control implications. It has electromagnetic implications. And it has sexual programming implications. All of that comes out of there outside of the technology of invisibility and time travel. Okay? So, so now, yeah. so, so all of that is spread all over now where probably more than likely down in Wall Street what they got cordoned off down there because last I heard, the CIA head headquarters was now in the Statue of Liberty. But I'm willing to bet that most of the the uh, um, programming and the mind control takes place not only there, but also in the lower aspects of Manhattan, going on 34th Street and those area where most of the drugs come from. You see, okay, so, so would you would, would you say that it, it is it is uh, a ritualistically uh, uh, related as well, with all of that you know coming coming into play? Yes, yes, because guess what? Guess what? The first thing they said when when uh, uh, the shooting took place, they said, don't nobody come down here, everybody's all right. Only two children got killed. Okay? They told everybody on the news in New York, they said that do not come down here because the children are okay. Uh, one or two of the children got hurt. They said everything is all right. Hmm. Then... One of the people came out and said they heard rapid fire coming from various weapons at the same time. Mm -hmm. And then went in there, all the children dead now all of a sudden. So they and they told the people to stay home. Out. Yeah. They needed for it to play all the way out so that negative energy can, can fulfill fulfill the purpose. So it can, like you say, induce that, that fear. Not just fear, my brother. When children die in mass like that, they have a Powerful, powerful energy that comes before puberty, and it releases adrenochrome. Adrenochrome okay. is a substance that comes out of your brain and out of your soul, and they capture that like a mist. Okay, they could either they could either eat it, drink it, or use it to send out uh, 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 something else somewhere else. Okay, so they don't okay. just do shit just because you know. Oh, let's do the children; they're gonna be scared. They they don't have to do that to make you scared. Okay, that's a ritual, and that is pulling energy. That has a lot to do with energy. You understand okay, me? Yeah, and, that's, and that's similar to the movie uh, Monster, Inc. Right. Okay. Mm. All right. That's, 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 that's very enlightening. That, that's what I want to hear. Excuse me. What's the name of that movie? Monster, Inc. Monster, Inc. Okay. I got to check and that out myself, cartoon. brother. Yeah, check that out. Right. Yeah. It's a cartoon, and what happens? Girl called Monster, um, Monster um, Polops or Polopsies, uh, you know, it's like, um, you know, like the city of monsters. And what happens mm, okay. in order to bridge the gap between from this city, you know, into the um, Earth world, they walk through the bedroom doors of children, and when they scare the children, the children release screams of fear and panic, mm. and they capture the fear and panic in in um in this in these jaws of glass. And then they take it back to their world in order to fuel their world, their system. Wow. Okay. I see, brother. Mm hmm. I didn't right. think they went that far as to put it. I guess they would put yeah, that in a children's yeah. cartoon, huh? Yeah, yeah. this is a children's yeah. cartoon. Yeah, that makes sense. Monster Inc. That yeah. makes sense. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, Monster Apple. Suffice it to say, though, brother, they don't do nothing just to make you scared by itself, though. Just like he said, they capture that energy. Okay. Right. Just like, uh, in my opinion, but since I didn't see the movie, I didn't want to really speak on it. But it sounds like more of a pacifier, mm -hmm. a distraction. Okay, you got Spike right. Lee coming out saying, "Oh, I'm not going to see that movie. Disrespect my ancestors." Nigga, Radio Raheem didn't disrespect you, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you, bro. I'm going to continue no. to the show. <laughs> no. Yo, I'm, I'm uh, so it's it's, it's a it's, it's a it's a major energy. It's dealing, look, the earth, everything is the matrix showed you that everything is damn energy, okay? Right. And it's a war going on for your energy. Yes. That that's all it's all about. They want why why do you grow up and have to take a job? Your energy, okay? Yeah. Anything you do out here, okay? We'll make it so you need some paper money to to pass off that what energy. Pass off that energy. Right. 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 Yeah. Okay, yeah. so nothing they do is just dealing with, oh, pass a bill, oh, this, that. No, they, remember, remember now, 
Candy Crawley, who is Alistair Crawley's granddaughter, works for Obama. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. So, so look, if you needed a big brother, it couldn't be a white man being big brother, could it? No, sir. <laughs> no. 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 This is the 13th, 2013, based on their digital, see, because they need time. They have to clock their reality. They have to digitize it. You don't. You you only have one day, which is the Sunday. Every day is Sunday. There's no other, no other nigga out there better, bigger, better than that nigga. It comes out every day, feed you, so on and so on. So we only have one day in this universe, which is the Sunday. But they have the seven day clock where they have to digitize and clock their existence. Okay, because clocks one day stop. Okay. Okay? Clock stop. Matter of fact, you know, I tell people this all the time. All you got to do is look at a digital clock. For some reason, every time you look at a digital clock, if you got one around, you always catch certain numbers like 9-11. Mm-hmm. But if you look at a circular clock, you will never see 9-11. No, sir. No. You see? You don't look at it that way. We function mm-hmm. from the circular clock. They function from a digital linear clock. Okay. okay. They have to digitize everything. So it goes back to the damn matrix. Okay? It goes back to the matrix. Digital world, okay? In order to get outside of the matrix, they had to tap into the back of the reptilian brain. Okay? Wake them up and, and the whole so we know we can't even go into so much science in that shit. Yeah, like the matrix when you tap tap that machine into your and do like Amidala. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And put plug into the, in the matrix. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's deep. Real deep. And then you had, you had, you had um, the Chinese guy who was Montauk Chia, who was the Chi master or the key master, taking Raja and Kundalini up to where the cracker was to show you the reality of things. Huh. I mean, but we could be all day talking about the matrix. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. And they got the new Thank movie coming out. The new Wizard of Oz is coming out. The what now? Yes. They, they redid the Wizard of Oz. Oh, oh really? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All of a sudden, now we have Dr. Oz now, which is a big fraud. I'm looking at <laughs> Dr. Oz, along with, of course, the Master Mason, Mrs. Mrs. Winfrey. Yeah, because I heard him say some things that was absolutely incorrect. <laughs> yes. The Wizard of Oz. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, to the first, absolutely incorrect. He told okay. I heard him tell somebody one time, your species is supposed to fake. Now come on now. Mm-hmm. When you take when you take a dump, when you take a shit, he said that it's supposed to sink to the bottom of the damn toilet. <laughs> now you don't know, come on now. That that shit there, that's gonna kill somebody. Exactly. Yes, yeah. Has no fiber in it whatsoever. Nope. Exactly. Yep. Mhm. Well, brother uh, Dr. Lima, I, I went to your site, your new site, uh, uh, a beautiful site, a ton of information there, brother. Beautiful site. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Thank and, you. Uh, brother you. Ezio. Okay. Yes, brother. Brother Ezio, I'm gonna check your site out, brother. I know you got a, a ton of information there that we all can learn and know and sponge off of and uh, continue to. You know, the evolution uh, take its place. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. brother. Just go on the Oregon page. You can read all about Oregon, um, the Montauk Project, which we just spoke about, and also uh, Wilhelm Wright's connection to um, aliens. Okay. You know, because he, he is this man who, came, who, who discovered out of Egypt the uh, energy of Oregon, studied it, but killed him as soon as he started opening his mouth about aliens terraforming this planet. Mm. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Yep. Wow. Deep, deep. Yeah, it will right. And it's a banned book. The Germans, the Nazis got a hold of the book and burned it. Well, he was talking about these aliens that, uh, you know, it's just over periods of time slowly terraforming the planet. And the name of the book, well, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's a powerful book. <laughs> And I have a, I have a couple of pages from uh, on my website from that book. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. So the reality is stuff. shifting. Yes, brother. No, I'm just yeah, so, so reality is shifting, and when it shifts, people drop off, and things change. Okay. And that's all Obama been talking about, change. Yes. Okay? Just because you don't see the dimension shift with your own eyes, it moves slowly. Because we can't equate time with what we've been given as far as European concept. Yes. Okay? So the dimensions did shift and are shifting as we speak. As yes, we I speak. noticed the... Uh... The, the behavior patterns in some of the animals that I'm looking at, and uh, that something is shifting. It's, uh, it's like it's like a quantum leap have been have been achieved, and and some pick up on it, and some haven't. Uh, you know, in the in the DNA. So oh, yeah. I know something definitely is happening. Well, um, first of all, more knowledge is being the knowledge is being increased. But if you notice the animals in New York, when I was growing up in New York, we didn't see no damn seagulls flying across our head. Hmm. When you see seagulls, that means the water line, the water's getting higher. A damn okay. seagull. So we, you know, now we're used to seeing them for the last 10 years or so, but growing up, I just seen damn stray dog, stray cat, that's it. A rat every now and then, some damn loaches and a pigeon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now I'm seeing fucking seagulls. <laughs> fucking, I saw a skunk. I saw a goddamn wild turkey. I'm like, what? What is wow. this shit? I'm, I'm like ready to run like the niggas with that tsunami shit. <laughs> no, I'm saying this. You that, see shit now that you previously in New York you did not see, as far as animals are. Yeah. Bears, big. You see it all on the news. They got they, they got they, they put open season on bears because we're infringing on their territory. Yes. Wow. Deeper than the submarine, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Deeper than the submarine, that's for sure. (laughs) It's amazing, brother, because look at the ocean with that BP oil. They ain't saying shit about that BP oil no more. That shit's still leaking. They're not talking about it. And not only BP oil, there's a couple of... There's one right here in New York they're trying to clean up. They've been trying to clean up for years, Uh, 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 oil spill. But that, in my opinion, brother, that... Uh, BP oil is actually going to ruin most of the oceans of the world for a while till it replenishes itself. It's harder for the earth to replenish itself now because they done fucked up the rainforest and Niagara Falls. Right. Niagara Indeed. Falls is only 10% of what it used to be. That was a cleansing station for the ocean's water. Yes. Wow. Okay, so all of that has been... So the process for the earth to cleanse is slower, and it reacts in different places. Usually in places where, when the earth attacks, where it feels leprosy or disease is. So remember, going all the way back to France, where they had the 30,000 burn up from a heat wave. Hmm. Okay? That thing which feeds you every morning, which gives you your melanin and shine on you, say, hey, and, and smile, and, and does everything you need needed to do, said, you know what, I'm going to burn up 30,000 of these niggas over here. We can't even imagine no shit like that. I can imagine being hot, that's about it. <laughs> but all of a sudden now, in modern times, based on all the poison food and ate, niggas can't take the heat no more. That's right. Niggas having strokes, all in the hospital, all tubed up and all fucked up. And, yeah, and I'm, right. I'm out there... What? I'm out there in the sun. I'm not even sweating. The niggas walking up to me. Damn, it's hot out here. What the fuck are you talking about? Nigga, you blacker than me. Yep, I've heard that too. Especially last year. <laughs> it's well, amazing, bro. So of the dark matter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. more concentration of the, of, the, of the melanin. You know, it's like a black hole. They absorb more heat, and they can maintain that heat. They Look, complain the about the hot. Look, that's look. That's the only way you can even cook your food. You could you could actually eat. You know, you hear people say don't eat cooked food, but you can eat cooked food. But you have to cook it through the sun. Okay, 
The sun feeds you. The sun does everything in the, without it. You will not survive. That's right. But yet, okay. but yet, that which irritates us on this planet, it decides it wants to kill it. The bio bio radiation. And 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 that's what I mean by you getting back in line with nature. Yes. Even eat the food, the color, whatever color the sun is, where you at, eat the food that color. Fuck it. Yellow, orange, red, nightshades. Follow it. And, and okay. if you ask me, you can even pray to it. That's what the uh, Christmas rush is all about, the energy of the sun. Yeah, I think well, a lot of people Qigong don't realize. Tai Chi. Right, well, when you practice Qigong or Tai Chi, that's what you're doing anyway. You're bringing in the energy in which that the sun is producing as well as also the stellar in the cosmos. So you're yes. bringing in this cosmic energy. So that is an act of prayer. Every movement that you're making is an act of prayer. That's the reason why they call the sun worshippers. Uh-huh. Because we had mudri and we had sutras or positions in which that we did you know what I'm saying? In which that correlated, you know, to the times of the sun. Yes. As Muslims, yes, as Muslims still do today, call raka or what is known as some make us alive, which means fire. Hence the the um kundalini. Right. Wow. That's deep. Mm-hmm. Wow. The sun is your brother. You can even sun gaze and feed and, and and nourish your eyes and nourish your soul. That's right. You know. Yeah. But, you That's know. What I'm hearing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can gaze into the sun like a few seconds and look off and, and actually can can in, in heal you and, and say also get rid of some parasites that we may have. Yeah. You will actually see the parasites coming out at the size of your eyes. You'll see them actually jumping out. One morning I got up the sun gaze as the sun came up, and there was all kind of shit just floating around in the air. These, these like, um, I don't know, I thought I was in a damn fish tank. <laughs> yeah. Then after that, here come that food, that 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 ground mist, that ground water, that mist that comes over the over the um, the land, over the trees and stuff that feed all the animals and water all the plants. Yeah. Just like that, and that's success. Yes, but we get an awful lot of uh, chemtrails coming over here, down here in uh, uh, Miami, Miami. Uh, when I'm out working, I'm sneezing for some reason real hard, and and uh, next thing you know, I'm getting sick or I got a cold, and I know okay, well I got that, you know, saying so I got to raise really my vibration back up in order to fight that cold, and you know, like uh, what they said about the brother Aline said about the uh, like they're trying to, they know what's coming in, that's gonna be, right. trigger our DNA. They know what's coming in, so they're now they're trying to like uh, an ant, you know, this inferior uh, albion, they're like a ant trying to hold back a tidal wave of cosmic dust. Coming in to, to, to do us good and change the DNA. It's like you know, angels coming in to to spark us up. You know. Well, they, and, they uh, did that in two thousand. They did that in two thousand and five. Yes. Uh, if you didn't, that's if you didn't get the level of consciousness you needed by two thousand and five, it was shut down. And you can only learn what's already on the planet. Huh. They did that in two thousand and five. Um, it's an article in my book. I got the article in there. But yes. the the good thing about that is that a sufficient amount of knowledge did get onto the planet uh, that came down not only from the sun but from other star systems. And uh, the the spraying takes me back to what Wilhelm Reich said: the terraforming of the planet. Okay, because you gotta ask yourself a question. If these niggas are spraying every damn country on the planet, you mean to tell me nobody doing shit? Huh. You mean to tell me Iraq, Iran, Russia, this one, that one, y'all ain't shooting at them niggas and doing shit? No, because it is out of their dimension. They can't even fuck with it. And that's what Wilhelm Reich was saying by these beings that are changing the atmosphere, the water, 
the food content, all of that, the, the, the quality of the, the dirt, killing the trees and all of that, restructuring different land masses to fit um, um, cities and states and fucking it up, okay? So, because it, it, it makes no other kind of sense. Yeah. It don't uh-huh. make no other kind of sense. I mean, even in Africa, sh- even if they don't have the weapons to hit that shit, they'll shoot a cannon or something at that motherfucker. <laughs> there ain't nobody doing shit. So that tells you that it's outside the reach of any action they could take, and they don't want you to know what is really going on. Uh-huh. Mm. That's why Iran is still standing. Yep. Now, that's just me, based on the information that I received, um, assessing this, you know, from based on all the compilation of knowledge and speakers I've heard and everything, and I put all that together, that's the only, that's the only reasonable solution I could think of is that it ain't human. Right. Hmm. All right, we're going to bring another caller in. On to the discussion, we're gonna bring another call in. So we're gonna go to um to the phone line. One to one seven is the beginning of this phone number here. Um, you're on the line. Peace. Peace, brother. Peace. Yeah. So, uh, there, uh, Suzanne in her book, in her book, the um. The Muffin Papers, where she's breaking down Oregon. In her book, she's she's got the whole uh, Constitution Declaration of the Reptilians. Of Reptilians, not humans. In her book. Huh. They're to free and how they want to change the planet, kill humans, all this kind of wild shit. Susar got it documented in her book based on Wilhelm Wright's work. Hmm. Get wow. the muffin papers. Get that wow. book, the muffin papers. I got the PDF file, I believe, on my website. The muffin papers. Yep. That's M U F F P T. M U F F I N. I N. Okay, muffin. All oh, right. Okay. Muffin papers, right? Muffin papers. And and and, and the, the 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 PDF files, Alim, that I just sent you, which is the Matrix. They're gonna break that shit down like to the T. Oh yeah, they do. I usually have right. um to go back in the back. Me and Bobby um um went to the store and got them back in the day. He turned me on to them back in like the '94. Yeah, yeah, they've been out for a while. Mhm. I'm I'm glad they put that shit on PDF, boy. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Every so week, that, man. That, yeah, cause they were so sick. I mean, you can't keep it um um anywhere anywhere. I got like two or three of them around here, but they all messed up and them papers are scattered everywhere. Right, right. I got I got volume twenty, but I can't find all the papers. <laughs> right. Okay. They even went all the way up. They did the regular series, then they had another series that went up to like twenty two. Uh, Matrix twenty two. Right. Yeah, I got, uh, I think I got two of those. All right, we got a yeah. caller. Um, hopefully they come on in this time. It's the um, area code 117. Yes. There's a um, strength number here. I don't know if they, Let me try another one. We got area code 205. Area code 205. You're on the line. 205. Area code 205. You're on the line. All right. I guess we can keep talking then. Everybody else going to get on. Okay. Cool, brother. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you only got about ten more minutes. <laughs> okay. Um. So what I'll do is I'll talk a little bit about uh, my, my uh, website. If you go to the Oregon page on my website, I have a flyer up there called Ghost Town, New York City, 
And what it is is that I'm going to do excursions going to Woodlawn Cemetery. And I got a couple of videos up there, too, uh, because we had went up there searching for a black Herman. Uh, now, whether or not he's up there, they have an unmarked grave up there of him, and we found it. And in the videos, okay. what I do was, what I did was, he, it was an unmarked grave, but I marked it by putting his name on it, and I put an Oregon uh, food dog pyramid on top of his his grave. So when you, if you, if you come with us, or if you just go, you will see one of my Oregon pyramids, pretty big one too, where the food dog is bright red, uh, right on on top of his grave under a tree, under oh, a right. pine tree. Okay, and he, it's fitting that he. Uh, was buried under a pine tree because pine trees, in actuality, don't lose their leaves or what they say is don't die in the winter. No trees die, but the leaves die. Uh, but the leaves of that tree do not die. So that's a very powerful uh, tree um, near him, very en powerful energy. So we're going to be holding excursions to those particular uh, grave sites. We're going to be talking about the different trees, the plants, um, the animals that are up there, you have wild turkeys running around up there. It's a really, really uh, awesome experience for anybody who actually makes it on this trip, which will be taking, we're going to start them in March. We're trying to wait for the, we want the weather to be really, really warm. We want nobody to be cold. So if it's cold in March, we'll do it in April uh, when the weather is really, really warm. And, and the website is my number. Um, and we can schedule private, uh, if you're in New York City, uh, a private excursion will take you around, and you know it's an all-day affair. So you got to bring water a little and some uh, fruit or whatever you're going to eat. Uh, bring that with you. Uh, we're going to visit Duke Ellington, uh, Madam C. J. Walker, um, Celia Cruz, Miles Davis, Max Roach, and, and a whole bunch of other people too. We're going to talk about the the um, when you see the movie Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio and the other person who who drowned in the ship based on that whole story, the two people, they're buried there. Uh, but my main thing will show you how to work magic using graveyard dirt, how to enter a graveyard, uh, if you want to take something from the graveyard, what to do, uh, you know, get into the whole spiritual aspect of the different trees, the edible things, although really nothing in a graveyard is actually edible as far as spirit energy goes. But the food can be eaten on a physical level, but I wouldn't really want to eat anything or drink anything out of a out of the graveyard. But we'll right, talk right. a lot about that. Um, you, and everyone must bring a, a crystal or a few crystals, depending on what uh, you, you're going to do when we get up there. But I would advise to bring at least two crystals, one of them being black. Uh, but we'll provide those, too, if, if a person does not have one. And so that's going to take place in April. That is going to be to go because, see, uh, it's called Ghost Town, New York City, because um, Woodlawn Cemetery was an actual town that is now a ghost town, you know. Just like New York City, even though you still have living people walking around, uh, you have a lot of ghosts walking around based on many of the burial sites that were desecrated and so forth. Um, so we're going to do that. In, in July, and um, you could call the number that's on the screen up there on the website on the Oregon page. And also, uh, we just recreated some new um, Oregon pieces you could look at, and then there's a, a couple of articles up there for you to look at too on Oregon and the Montauk, so forth. Okay? All right, All right. thanks, thanks. All right. Um, yeah. Queen, you on the line? I sure am. Peace to the guys. Hey, sister, how you doing? Yeah, we, we, I'm doing great. I'm doing wonderfully. Um, I just been listening in. I really appreciate the vibes, guys. Y'all been adding on. Um, so I just want to just give um, an announcement. Um, we're gonna go back to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless otherwise stated. Um, we felt like it was just wonderful to um, end it with um, with Azazel, you know, on this day. You know, because nighttime is perfect for you, <laughs> you and your wonderful wife. So um, we're going back to eight. And um, let me see. Also, too, um, announcement. July, excuse me, January the 12th through the 13th, we're going to be in Jacksonville, Florida, at the Morris, the summit of the Morris. So if you want to see the flyer, make sure you go to the website underneath calendar tab, then you'll see the flyer there. 
um, also too. There's 36 more spots left on the on the um, on our 11th annual Equinox cruise, which I'm so excited about. It's our 11th year doing this. This time we're doing it in um, at the Olmec Pyramids. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Please get your rooms. That flyer is also near calendar and. We're constantly adding to the website. That is our baby right now. It just feels so good to be able to manipulate something in and the way you want to see it. You know, we're constantly putting up blogs. I was just so excited yesterday. I even put up a blog um, on an African deity. And the African deity, he was able to heal people. Y'all have to go check it out. He even pulled his um his somebody had pulled his heart out in order to kill him. Oh, really? And he oh. he set up and grabbed his heart, and he was like, how dare you do this to me? And, and put his heart back in and walked away. And, and in the picture, he's actually lifting up his shirt, and you could see where they just rich, viciously ripped his heart out of him. Mm. So, you know, this is what our ancestors are capable of doing, and I can't wait till we tap into these sciences so please comment on the blog. Let us know that you give a damn or whatever. You know what I mean? We're just really excited. We're really excited about the growth and prosperity. And it's just so good to hear how we cipher, how we how we love each other. If you want to deal with the economic aspects, it's also there. We also have a Fruits of Plenty tab where we want to be able to feed four families you know, whether it's an, an invention they want to invest in or a bill they need paid, whatever. <laughs> we sort of show economics in fullness and, and in trust and in harmony. So, um, you know, just coming up with these wonderful ideas. So the website is constantly adding new stuff. Um, y'all, that was my first video, so if y'all see it, please be um, gentle. <laughs> we, we, we're we trying tech, technology newly, and I'm just I'm just really excited about the awakening. You know, um, as a matter of fact, it was perfect and coinciding with um, with the um, equinox energy. How we came to the three o'clock hour. You know, we did magic together. Azariah was just talking about the change, you know, and we, we are creating the change. We're controlling the change, and I'm so grateful that we have light bulbs in our homes. Go to the blog. Look at the pyramid, um, the pyramids that your physical body can convert to. I love the ideas about the, um, the graveyard. The next time we come up there, God, we are definitely doing that with y'all. We have to. That was a genius idea. And we idea. would love it. <laughs> Can you please? <laughs> <Why not? laughs> yes, yeah, definitely. We love it, and we want to go on that cruise so bad. I'm going to look into it, check my funds, and we're like, so there. Word. <laughs> Word. Yes. Oh, when, you, when you said 11 seats were left, I sat up. I woke up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it's only like 580 per person, and the more that come, the, the cheaper it gets. And I'm just, oh, I'm just really well, excited well, about well, it. Peace, Salim. Oh, uh, I apologize. Peace, Salim. How are you? <laughs> oh, we doing good. We doing good. I'm glad That's the feeling energy is here. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And as y'all can see, I'm sorry. No, no, you go. I just was going to say, as y'all can see, everybody, we love each other. You know, oh, um, yes. it's a polite and steady debate. It was a family reunion. We haven't seen y'all in so long, and I, I loved it. It was Yeah, crazy. I, I was, have a good time. I always have a good time in my head and my skin. I mean, I'm true. Just a, I just love a good time, you know. <laughs> yeah, you really like are. <laughs> you really are, goddess. I really um, I just appreciate the energy. You know, I really do, oh. and, and, and I'm being on the same team. You know, yes. I really, I just appreciate that. You know, and oh yeah, oh yeah, this is valuable. Yeah, they gave us the mic. You know how we do? We could talk on and on and on and on and on. <laughs> I feel my crown chakra. I feel my crown chakra coming on. You know, I hope the people that are listening also feel that too. I do. It's like towards the back area. It's yeah. Just, it's so many. It's so much creativity and and sincerity and and mm-hmm. and truth and wisdom on this line. I, you know, that's right. It's the balance right. and. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm ready yeah. for the change. Oh, well, we're going to see the green in t- 2013, and that deals with economics. That also deals with um, health, wellness. I'll, mm-hmm. We're going to change this world for the better. And it's Absolutely. not, not going to be difficult. I, I, feel a, I feel a change already. Even the way I'm starting to create is starting to flow a little differently now. Ooh. You know, I'm making copper pouches with crystals and anything you want inside of them now. It's just. I don't know, I've just been a little slightly redirected, but it's okay. I go with the flow. Wow, <laughs> goddess. That's beautiful. Yeah. That yeah. Beautiful. I just put it 
on Facebook, so you have to check it out, definitely. <laughs> okay, we sure will, Goddess. Please give your Facebook um, page just for those who never who never knew that about pouches with copper and crystals. That's genius. Yeah, yeah. you know, as I was listening to the show, um, you know, listening to, um, you know, the God speak, it, it prompted something inside me, and I just sat here and made it, you know. So it's just something that just came up within the hour. <laughs> oh, my God, I do that. I do yeah, that. Exactly. You know, it's like, a, like um, what's it, Alexis Taylor used to say, the jade trances out. She knows because she does too. <laughs> yeah, that's a Sagittarian energy. Happy belated born day. Oh, give thanks. Give yeah. thanks. But let me tell you, my um, the Facebook page is Sister Majade Majade. That's S I S M A hyphen J A D E, and then you do it again M A hyphen J A D E. Sister Majade Majade. So you know, you I, I friend everyone. <laughs> Okay. You know, until you say something, you know, disrespectful, whatever, you're like off. Um, and my website, uh, Majade, M A hyphen, J A D E dot com, and uh, it's Pieces of Peace. Peace meaning people entering a conscious environment. That just came in my head. I just went with it. <laughs> you know, um, I know, um, that's about it. You could, I custom make whatever you want out of hair, bones, whatever. As long as it's not pubic hair, but um, <laughs> you know, cause I, you know, I, that has been one of the requests. But uh, anyway, and she also, um, <laughs> she, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. And she also makes oils, the most beautiful smelling oils. You this remember is, that? I'll never forget. Hey, I'll never forget. God. Wow. Yeah, it, it's so funny. I remember making. Uh, I, my last bottle that I sold was to a woman in the street, and she says, oh, I haven't had a man in so long. She put a little bit of the oil on, and this guy walked up to her and said, how are you doing beautiful? Oh. <laughs> yeah, she just looked at me. She said, you got any more bottles? I said, you got the last one. Save the best for last. Well, please yeah. don't let that be the last one. Also, too, I, I also, y'all may <laughs> not know, but this guy got hit by a car with my Jade's Argon Energy pieces on, right? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Tell everyone. Well, he was crossing the street. He was actually helping this woman uh, cross the street, and a car came from nowhere, and he put himself pretty much in front of this woman. The car wound up hitting him. His or It was an organ piece. It, huh. it flew up in the air, landed on the curb. He was laying in the street, and he said out of the corner of his eye, he saw his necklace on the curb, jumped up, ran, and got it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. and, and just put it on and, and pretty much just walked away. And everyone was running up to him saying, are you okay? Are you okay? He's like, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. He was my jaded. He yeah, was my jaded. He was my jaded. But, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's so many stories, um, you know, you know, with the jewelry, because, you know, it's not just jewelry. And, you know, and, and you know, as a matter of fact, I'm speaking in March. <laughs> oh, good. I'm speaking in When, where? Wow. When, where? Um, it's um, a bro- uh, uh, Simon, my right, baby? Yeah. King Simon, he's, he's, he's putting it on. He's, you know, called and asked, you know, me if I wanted to speak. And I was like, me? But um, I guess it's, it's time. Yeah. I guess, it's, I guess it's time. So I'm pretty, pretty much going to, you know, discuss, like, in detail how I got started, who I am, you know, and how um, what I do came to be, you know, and things like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I am, too. And it's so, it's so beautiful that this is coming yeah. together like this. It's, mm-hmm. it's magnificent. It's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's, and I'm just, I'm just grateful, too. I'm grateful to know you because you're writing oh. many stories, you know. It's, it's, yeah. it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, it's so inspiring. Yeah. Oh, it's off. Oh, is the show off? Oh, good. we're talking like we're on the phone, like we do, you know. Well, it's no, it's, it's no longer streaming. It's no longer streaming, but it'll record for a whole hour. Oh, okay. So, right. so your Facebook page is on there, and okay. yeah, and the family um downloads. They put it on YouTube for us for free. Ooh, you know, I just want to give a shout out to y'all. I just got to oh, put that in my. Um, my face. I'm excuse me. I'm my. I'm on the website too because we just appreciate the the, the energy. You know what I mean? Oh, because yeah. we are we're down to earth, yep. and and we. I know we do this for the people. We do. Of course, of course we're real. They don't come any realer than us. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. All right. All right. 
grateful for this change. All right. Yeah. Hold on, okay. we're gonna bring. Hold on, we're gonna bring in area code eight three. Oh. You're on the line. Peace, family. Peace. Peace, brother. What's going Peace. on, brother? Oh, uh, my sister, brother Tilly, calling in from uh, the Houston area, in Texas, Chase Shaw area. Uh, just wanted to give thanks to all you brothers and uh, and uh, brother Ezra. I really appreciate your work and. Uh, I have to comment. I don't know what's been getting to you, uh, Doctor Ali, but you just been excreting so much data lately, and I just have to tell you, I really pr- appreciate it. You know, as a fellow more, and uh, it, it, it's, it's really truly, truly uh, appreciated. And uh, and I want to. Um, I got cut off one time I called in on your show. I'm not sure if you had did any research. Um, um, you know the guy. Well. And I, I never heard anybody made a correlation. Um, you know about the um, is there a lot of underground? Um, you know the underground cities in Texas or whatnot. I've been doing a lot of research, and a lot of the underground tunnels that the um, the cartels are using to get dope in or whatnot, and it's pretty much the CIA. These are ancient tunnel systems, and they lead to ancient ancient cities, and. Uh, I, I've been um, I've been seeing um, I, I I posted a few links on my um, a, a few links. Uh, no, actually I haven't. I actually actually posted to another blog, but I'll be posted to my fa- my Facebook. I'm the Leak But um, there's there's a uh, a lot of them, and uh, they're really trying to keep it secret or whatnot. I was wanting to see if you guys had any math on that, and a lot of energy that's that's hitting the southern region that we're in right now, especially. Particularly in the region that, that I'm in, I wonder um, you got any um, prophecies or um, you know. Um, um, I mean, I have I have a few things too. I've been doing my study, but I want to hear what you guys, you know, what energies are. Uh, you know, a lot of my um, comrades out here, what energies are we looking forward to dealing with coming out here? You know, I know that um, I know that, um, and we would like to reblog that. Too, you know, which are, of course giving you shouts out for it, but we would like to reblog that because that's powerful. The the school system have a book a book club, and in that book club there was a book called The Monsters of Waverly Place, and that's exactly what they were doing. They were crawling through tunnels from our ancient ancestry that they mm-hmm. you know that they built out of necessity. Mm-hmm. So Ab- yeah, we, we don't know you. Well, you got to remember. You got to remember. Um, New York is a damn forest, and those tunnels, those train station tunnels, were built based on the tunnels that was already underneath there. That yeah. the whole the whole system that you uh, you may come to New York and ride the trains, that whole system was based on tunnels that already existed, and they extended them and made them bigger, bigger. But the path was already there, just like Broadway. Broadway was a a, a forest trail that led all the way up to Westchester and led you upstate. Okay, so but Broadway was was, was called, um, it went by another name. I think it was called um, The Way. It became the Broadway when the European came and made it into a street that goes all the way up. Okay, but that, that was a walkway for you to come all the way, pass all the way up to uh, New York. And you had old, the old Broadway, you, know, you had many streets, tunnels, and all of this that were already... Uh, fixtures based on the native or the indigenous people that were already right. here and how they travel. In Vietnam, they were called tunnel rats. Right, right, right. Because yeah, they traveled yeah, yeah, through a tunnel system. Right. Okay. So, yeah, yeah. so you gotta remember the, the the earth has a sun in the middle of it. And all you right. to, to to know that to know that 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 is true, and it also has drinking water and all that stuff that has above the earth, because it is as above, so below. But within the earth, within that crust. Within all that lava, within that sun, there's civilizations, there's life forms, there's dinosaurs, and there's a lot of other things. That's why the woolly mammoth was found in ice. Okay, we know that Antarctica and those uh, uh, those northernmost, so-called northernmost areas, are really areas where they used to be Africa-like type places or tropical places, and then of course over the the, the shifting of the planet Earth. The energy changes. So to know the energy of where you live is get you the longitude and latitude and 
pinpoint down to where you are and see what the, the numbers of the longitude and the latitude is, then after you do that, you add it up and you also look at the grid lines or the vortexes that are created in that particular city, which may be, like, for for, for instance, in Washington, D.C., the, the White House is a vortex, and they build structures on those vortexes, and that's how you know where the vortexes are, the major ones. 42nd Street in New York City is a vortex, 34th Street. So so you know the energy of those vortexes, but first right. you got to discover the longitude and latitude of where you are and get those numbers. And then once you right. get those numbers, you could look at um, the, now yeah, the energy of vortexes. Yeah. And then look at all uh, – it's so much to look at, brother, to really, really know the energy of a particular place. Some I'm states have you. most of the dirt in their state is acidic. Some states, most of the dirt in their state is, is alkaline. It's, 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 a, it's a magical – level of information that nature says, hey, I want you to have fun and learn all this stuff in order to operate this mechanism I have here for you. Yeah, you just let me know I'm on the right I'm on the right path, you know. Um uh, and uh, you a spiritual brother I can really level with because you know we go off in the deep end, you know. I think you like me, I, I don't I don't know your history that well, but I think you're similar to me. I've been having a spiritual phenomenon since I, ever since I was born, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. Well, I mean, remember, people who look alike don't flock together. People who think alike do. Right, right. I know your spirit. I, I mean, you have a, we all, you know, we all know each other through spirit. But uh, you know, I, I had a great grandfather, and um, you know, it, it, you know, it was really no slavery just past the Mississippi. And my grandfather was uh, a, a prisoner of war of um, Galveston Island in Texas. And um, the, those were a, a chattel, uh, a, a, a extension of the chattel mound builders or the Barbado, um, the, the Dedos, uh indigenous Indians of the Tayshaw, Texas territory. And, uh, hmm. yeah, so it, it, you just see nothing, nothing but battle monuments. And a lot of mounds out here, they made them cover, cover them up. And uh, um, my grandfather, you know, being in Christianity, for so long, we used to. He used to come to us all the time, and he used to be in the color of noon green. And uh, you know, we I used to we used to ward him off all the time because we used to always see him in my, all our all our family. But um, we used to have a, there used to be a lot of Europeans used to come to a part of Texas that we lived in. It was Mount Bluff, Texas, my, where my parents lived in. Uh, I'm a city boy, but my parents lived in the um, called Mount Bluff, Texas, and. Uh, one time my grandmother, bless her soul, she just made the transition. It was some Europeans trying to find the trails into these mounds. And there's there's a lot of there was a lot of gold and there were under connections for underground cities. And uh, my grandfather knew knew it. My great great grandfather knew, but he was like, Do not tell and uh, these Europeans actually hypnotized my grandmother and almost and almost told. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's 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 um it, it it goes really really um really really deep. It's um out here you can actually we don't have um we don't have um um what you got basements as you say as mm-hmm. uh, as y'all have up north. But I actually right. found out I actually found out there was so much artifacts that was coming up coming up out here. They just made it, and some graveyards that was out here. They just made it. You know what I'm saying? They actually made it a. Uh, 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 of a religious creed in the early nineteen hundred, eighteen hundreds, to not to not dig so deep up under your property to, to make um, uh, 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 basements or whatnot, because there's so much artifacts and so much, so many mounds, you know, and stuff that they've um, been finding out here. Well, that's and, a, uh, that that whole that whole area is a powerful indigenous vortex, um, Texas being. Really, Mexico and so forth. Mm-hmm. Being all the way down into South America, and you had such a mixture of various types of indigenous um, religious systems that fell under different names: Mayans, Copaco, right. uh, all various types. Um, even the Mayans, the Mayans had actually walked all the way into Georgia. Uh, they had structures in Georgia where even where Doctor York may have tried to build his pyramid over there too. Um hmm. but but the the uh the energy of that area is is 
coming out of uh, the Congo, coming out of the Congo. Uh, right. The Bantu, the Bantu traveled to South America uh, and became uh, uh, that whole tech, passed through that Texas area and became Kimbanda, Cobra Crow, and all these various other right. indigenous right. names for different people. So that right. whole area, starting from, I would say, coming all the way from Mississippi all the way over to what we call Texas or Texas, uh, mm-hmm. and all the way down into Mexico and all the way down into South America, you have mostly Africans who was coming out of the Congo, was coming exactly. out of uh, uh, mm-hmm. different areas of, of that over there. And they were at war with the European on many levels, but especially down there. Um, and they had, um, uh, it was a long war, uh, long periods of war, where even some mating had went on when you had something called, in the European concept, a half-breed, um, but they were known as the Kovacolo, um, right. um natives, uh, and they were the most fierce warriors of um, the hatred they had for the European down there. Uh, yeah. If you ever see Indian Head Nickel, that was a Cobra Clo. Uh mm-hmm. Those are the people that, that traveled there. And you'll even see it on the Redskins' helmet. Uh, mm-hmm. But before they got to where they uh, were, they were called the Tupac Indians, uh, after my brother Tupac Shakur, right, uh, right. which, which okay. later... Tupac, the Tupac Indians became solidified in a deity type formation, becoming the 2P, the 2P Indians or the 2P, uh, mm-hmm. which you see the Indian head on your just your your nickel or on one of the coins and stuff like that. That's how they great extend it was. To, they even extend that to Arizona. Uh, huh? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's how great they were. Even mm-hmm. they got the presidents on all those big silver coins, but they also got. Tupi, and of course the the football was when they cut the heads off of many of those uh, yeah. brothers and kicked it around and called that football, and so they became a part of their helmet gear. Okay, became a part of what they wear while they play football. Um, right. You know, so that, that, it, that's it, part of the part of the the history that goes yeah. all the way down into South America, but. Again, our maps are upside down, so it's really North America and Canada is really South America. Right, and uh, mm-hmm. my people, the, the area is uh, is a runoff from the Red River and connection with the Mississippi River, uh, the, known as the Trinity River. Mm. It comes on out, out, out here, so um, it, I can take you out there today. There's nothing but Indian water. You find spears all day long to this day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those uh, those mounds. If you know anything about computer systems, um, computer systems send memory through tracers on the motherboard. You know, let's just say, just like um, energy going down a wire. Um, but it, it, the, what happens in a computer? Energy has to keep flowing down back and forth that same line. But what happens is they have a device inside or on your motherboard called cache or cache, which is where information is sent, and it stores information while that that particular program you're using is idle. When you're not using it, but it's still, you still didn't click out of it, so it's idle. So your computer is sending information to that, to that particular screen, even though you're not using it. But what they have in between is a cache system where your screen or your computer don't have to retrieve the information from too far. It only has to go to a short distance. So it's like me taking a, bag, a bug out bag uh, halfway through the woods and planting it somewhere and then continue on my trek. So when I come back, I don't have to go back all the way back home to get my food. I only have to go halfway to where my cash is. And that's what a mound was. A lot of the mounds were systems where they were traveling and they built a mound of a storage house of different things. To, on their travel, wouldn't have to travel all the way back home to get what they need. They stored it right. there. It was called cash. So that's what right. a lot of the mounds are. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and it's and it's we um it it go real deep. Um, I'm, I'm gonna give you one more story. This this is just coming from the mud. Um, mm-hmm. My uncle, my uncles um was actually they they actually got a whole to bed treasure. My uncle, my great grandpa said, right, I'm gonna tell you, it's treasure next to the house. Mm-hmm. So they was getting to the treasure. It was the top of the treasure top. It had the old mech, you know, the same. It's it's all old mech, and you know the nigger features and stuff like that. And gold, and they had a handle. And the, once they got a hold to the handle, they would start arguing. And each time they more and more they argued, it would sink deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. It actually sunk so deep that uh, they really couldn't they couldn't even get it no more unless they had some kind of machinery. Mm-hmm. And uh, they woke up in the morning, it was gone. But my great my great great grandfather, he only could tell people only so much because everybody was getting more indoctrinated to Christianity. That's why he comes to me so much, and since I was a kid. But um, mm-hmm. he had a uh, we had a friend we had a friend of the family that actually got a hold to a, another buried treasure, and it's a specific ritual that you have to do. You have to put in a silver coin, and you have to speak a, um, a scripture out of um, palms. And I think palms is the correlate with Tahuti. Mm-hmm. I'm not I'm not sure. I, I mean, don't quote me on that, but I think so. But it's a scripture out of Palms that you got to read. And uh, you got to, um, yeah, and I think it was a, a deity that you had to do an invocation to before you take the treasure. And uh, he didn't do it. So he cashed in the treasure. He got like close, he got a few hundred thousand dollars. So um, he got a house built and everything else. And my great my great grandfather said, you know, you're going to have some trouble. So this is a ghost house that's out there to this day that I actually seen. So mm-hmm. once his house his house got built his first night, his house mysteriously just burnt up. There was no traces of, there was no traces of him but one of the silver coins that he kept kept out of the treasure. And in the daytime you can um well at nighttime you can you can see the house, the daytime is not there. And uh and uh you know, one thing that, you know, correlates with we are descendants of Jaguar Pa. And uh, my mom said used to have to walk like two miles to the bus station, and uh, they had Black Panther. They had Black Panthers out there. Still got Black Panthers out there to this day. <laughs> and um, what they would do when they would, whenever they fool would be scarce, they'd dig a hole and they would scream like a woman. Mm. And you fall up in there, you eating. And uh, my mom was walking. My mom was walking, and it was just a, um, a, a big Black Panther that walked across the. Um, the road, you know, back into the bush. It stopped in the road, and she said, just looked in the eyes, maybe about, you know, 30 seconds, and she said that she just looked like it was full and just kept going. But, uh, you know, that, that's a, almost like a spiritual reference of who you are, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, we are the East people. You're right about that. That's mm-hmm. deep. Oh, yeah. Um, Sanita so did an interview with a brother that had a damn tiger, alligator, and all that shit up in his house. Yeah, we met him. Wow. Oh, yeah. Him. yeah. Wow. It's on YouTube. I got to check that. Yeah. You'd be surprised. Yeah. I went to the zoo one time and scared a damn lion. Wow. He started running like he was going to fall down. Wow. What? Said, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 that nigga was Whoa. hooping and hollering. We could hear him all the way across the other side of the goddamn zoo. He was pissed. <laughs> the, the, whoa. Yeah. And also, too, um, gorillas have communicated with people in captivity, and they like, y'all, get me out of here. Yeah. yeah. communicated with me. Yeah, I remember. People who don't Oh, live, they, man, why are, y'all telling, and why are y'all telling me this? Because <laughs> <laughs> we all are connected. This, this, yeah, I did this zoo, man. This is a bird, man. And me and one of my guys can talk about this. And, uh, man, if I ever get him to call in, he's from New Orleans. And uh, he's just naturally conscious. It's just so powerful out there. But uh, I was at the zoo out here, and it's like a bird. And it's like a very ancient bird. That bird took some steps up <laughs> and just le- almost leaned against the fence and just looked me in the eye for like a minute. And my girl just looked at me, and my queen just looked at me, and she was like, man, we need to get that bird out of here. That bird don't need to be up in there. So I'm like, we can't get that bird out of here. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, birds are, birds are very close, are the closest animals to humans. Uh-huh. Man. Wow. Yeah, 
was like, the, the, I was like, I the, felt the, that. The monkey and the, and the gorilla is more is closer to the European. True. We're closer to birds because birds walk on two feet. Wow. Now, the crow now, is the smartest bird on planet Earth. The hmm. crow, if you go watch the monsters, they got a crow that comes out of a clock. The the parrot will copy what you say. Don't know what the fuck you're saying, but he can copy it. The crow know what the fuck you're saying and can say it. Okay? Whoa. Them niggas use their feet to cook, to, to fucking make their house and, and, and dig up worms and all that shit. And if you have it in the house, they'll steal shit and hide it in a secret place. Wow. <laughs> The crow. Right. You're right. The crow also down here. I, I, they are I, I standing. Think. They stand at the poles, and they they talk to us when we go in the building. They're very intelligent. And also, nah. too, when, when we do our rituals, crows will be filled with the in the yard or on top of the houses. People don't know that crows can talk and understand what you say. I want to see if you have a correlation with this. One of my guys say, man, what's one of my brothers in New Orleans? He's very spiritually in tune. Um, he likes some dogs, but he said, man, he said he don't deal with some dogs. And he said some dogs are going to get some, going to got some karmatic debt because they did a lot of bad to us. <laughs> and oh. I think it, it, <laughs> that's what he told me. And yeah, that was just came out to eat this. That was just something. Well, that's true you know because cats, cats are also, um, y'all can see their hands, how, they're, how they've had incarnations that may have been human. Yeah. You know? Yeah, well, well um, cats are... The, the oh, house dog. cats we have, the house cats that, that are in the house, in, 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 the, um, in the stores and all that, that's that's a GMO. That's not a real animal. Uh-uh. Um, the real cats, you, the, the real cats are, they have one in, um, I think it's in, in Europe, and it's hmm. on my website too. Uh, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's an original cat, just like the original cat in America comes from the hyena. The hyena is a mix of a cat and a dog. <coughs> yeah, that's right. It's both. Huh. It's right. both. Right. So those, yeah. those, the, the, um, let me see, the hyena, no, it's another animal, and if I can get the name of it, I will let you know. Let me see. It's a. Um, it's got a really weird name, and I got it on my on my video page. And if you go to my video page, it says uh, I think it says nothing on this page is true. I'm on that page. Nothing is on this true. This on this page. Right, and you'll see an animal called a phylacin. Hmm. And it, it's it's a video, and it'll show that's a a tiger and a dog. You're right. Okay. What? Oh, just like it's that. Like that's overseas, but in America, it's the it's the the hyena. Oh. That's where you get both the cat and the dog from. That animal. Cat and dog, right? Wow. Right. Wow. So you said the hyena. Right. Right. Okay. Yep. Thank you, God, for that. It looks like a monkey body and. Wow. That's the video. As you saw it moving around, it opens his mouth for you and all of that. And when you look at it, you don't know if it's a, a, a dog or a cat. Right. It's both. Hey. Uh, Laugh. Wow. You know, so a lot of things yes. we don't know about simple little things about animals. Like a lot of people don't know a polar bear is black. Hmm. You're right, underneath the fur. That's right. And have y'all guys seen that liger, that tiger mixed with a, 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 a lion? Now, that's human modification. Mm-hmm. That's human genetic modification. Right. Meanwhile, both those animals have different genetics that do different things. A tiger is much more powerful than a lion. Right. And bigger. Okay? And it's a loner. Whereas mm-hmm. a lion lives with his pride. So they, they put conflicting energies to create a wild imbalance. Which the animal look like it ain't gonna live long anyway. So yeah, sometimes yeah. certain animals, like because we we were the ones who made all the animals really, right? But we knew how to like for instance the kitty cat. We had to we knew we had to take that cat out of that hyena, put in some damn rabbit genes and a goddamn squirrel gene and some other shit, and then now we got a house cat. Right. 
okay? We knew we had to do that, mm. okay? Whereas this European, what the fuck is you merging a lion with a fucking tiger for? The fuck is what? that going to do? <laughs> Eat you understand oil. me? <laughs> you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, 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 is there some from kind of DNA? Is there some kind of DNA? Is there some kind yeah, of DNA? The person who got into this a lot was that nigga uh, Mark Anthony and his people who was fucking with Cleopatra because Cleopatra had the biggest zoo on planet Earth. And he was fucking genetic experiments dealing with, had his people dealing with genetic, genetic experiments uh, with Cleopatra's animals. Because she had the biggest what on Earth? Zoo. Zoo. Oh, okay, okay. And is there a, and is there some kind of DNA connection with the uh, the dog and the, and the European DNA? Have right I mean, heard? Dog. Well, that I the mean. genetics, yes, yes, the, the human monkey, yeah. uh, like you said, rat. I don't know about the cat part, but I I think the cat you can replace that with a fucking pig. Huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because okay, I know the, that's I know why the, the pig. If you take a pig and you cut that pig open. All his organs and chakras are in the same place as the European. And don't forget, though, the pig is the smartest land animal. That's the smartest animal on four feet. Okay? Go, go watch Green Acres. <laughs> okay? Okay. All right? It's a proven fact that they're extremely intelligent. Wow. Hmm. I don't know anything that anything bite they can take they can take any kind of bite from any any poisonous animal too, right? They 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 learn extremely quickly. They 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 learn quickly. Like the the length it takes you for you to train a dog, it won't take a pig half that time. Mm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> we didn't like it, didn't like it, we didn't eat it, you know what I mean? But I, I never heard of that before. That's something I haven't either. No, fascinating. <laughs> we just don't. Yeah, and then the, and the, the pig that we have is also a genetic modification from the original pig, which was a hairy, ugly, bestial-looking thing. A boy, like a yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Damn near the size of a goddamn hippo. A sharp teeth. Yeah. So, yeah. so those Eurasian hogs in Russia are, 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 are closest because those things I've seen on on TV they're really big. Well, the one we have, the 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 one that they fucking cut up and put in your supermarket, they got seven chakras. Okay, those those big hairy ones only go up to six chakras. Hmm. All right, hmm. and certain animals, even a horse, the horse only has six chakras. So that pig is on the higher realm, evolutionarily speaking, as uh, when it comes to animals. And yes, and, and that's the reason why Elijah Muhammad said, "Don't fuck with it." Because right. it's damn near human. It's a person. <laughs> yeah, because um, overweight Caucasians have that piggish face feature. Yes, they do. Yes, well, I mean, that was the whole reason for the Nation of Islam not eating pork. Uh, yeah. It's too close to a human. Wow. Because their, okay. their flesh is almost the same consistency as human flesh. Well, I know, I know their skin is, you know, they, they, I know they do experiments on suntan lotion with European skin. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. I have a picture, I have a picture with a blonde hair dog and there's a blonde hair owner. And you cannot tell the difference between their blonde hair. <laughs> That's funny, brother. But, it's a, it's, but I will say this. Um, I gotta be specific though. It was not the kinky blonde hair, the melanated with the you know the melatonic gold hair. You know, sometimes with the when a person, sometimes when a person loves someone or something so much, they begin to resemble it. So that can have implications too. Masters right. always look like the dog. Always look like the master. Right. The wife always look like the husband. Otherwise, mm-hmm. if that doesn't occur, there's no love there. That's mm-hmm. how you know people when they walk down the street together or they hang together. You know whether or not they love each other because they fucking look alike. Mm-hmm. All right? You That's why when you love your dog, you, when you love your dog, your cat, and all of that, that nigga going to start looking like your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Taking care of children, too, that, wow. that aren't yeah. biologically yours. Yeah. That's true. Right. Yes, anything, anything. Because... Mm-hmm. What happens is they receive those thoughts. 
and those thoughts are interchangeable and magnetic, and they're learning from you, especially if it's an animal, that's how they become human. They have to learn from you. They can't reincarnate as an animal again knowing all that shit they've learned from a human. How the fuck you going to do that? You're going to know some shit a human know and still come back a dog? You can't do it. Okay? So they evolution. They come into the human realm. As lower energies, and you, we mad at them because they knuckle draggers. I look, I saw, I saw one. I said, "Damn, that nigga right there look like a orangutan. That nigga look like a fucking pit bull." Because <laughs> people come, you evolutionize from the animal realm <laughs> into the right. human realm. <laughs> you right, look like a rat. You right. <laughs> you right. <laughs> because, the, and the reason for that is because. Once they're around a human past a certain amount of time, they pick up the thoughts, and they can no longer manifest with an animal brain. Huh. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it, may, it, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Because <laughs> right. whenever, whenever you're down or something, you know, there are some dogs, like, you know, I, like my, my cousin has a dog, and I remember some years ago I was down. So it like came over me, you know, right to my pioneer and this was like what and this told me telepathically, what's wrong? A beagle. And I don't I just know from research they're very intelligent dogs, the little beagle dogs. I was like, What? And I thought he was playing, they just jumped up by me like and looked me you know, like, Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got I guess you got a pine you got, you got a pioneer or something up in there. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, they'll die for you too. So. Yeah, dog world. That's what they call man's best friend. God spelled backwards. Mhm. Hmm. Speaking of dogs right. and gods, I just want to give a shout out to the brothers and the sisters that's in the dismal crib. We know y'all listening, and um, it's easier to listen this late in the night. So you know, we just appreciate y'all love and support, and and you know, just shout out, peace, peace and honor. Yeah, no I, I, I did. Peace and Brother as a right, you got any closing remarks before we get up off of here? I just want to thank you, my weapon. brother, and thank you for allowing us this space to really talk some super conscious stuff, brother. I'm looking Man. forward to see you here back up in New York. And uh, send me some PDF files or something, I'll shoot you over some stuff, too. All right, I definitely will, no doubt about it. I appreciate you coming on. I mean, yeah. man, yo, yo, you dropped it. You dropped yes, it, and um, I'll have you back on here again. Yeah, you know, no you problem, brother. It's just that my it, time, you know, my, you, you know for yourself right. my time clock was all screwed up, so. Right, right. Since I'm not in mixed that, up with that. <laughs> right, well, I think that's the reason why the ancestors um, also, you know, for the last three shows, we've been doing it at 2 a.m. in the morning, so, right. you know, I think. I think that was something in which that just had to be in order to get you on here. All right. <laughs> a lot from you, bro. Well, I, I'll tell you, brother, I had a lot of fun. Thank you, bro. We did. I appreciate have. you. Thank, Thank you, you. Peace to the audience out there. Don't forget to see Azazil.com, A-Z-Z-A-Z-I-E-L.com, and Majade.com, M-A-J-A-D-E.com. And thank everybody for listening. Hit us up with the email. Support the brother, yes. Aline Bay. And, brother, I'm thinking about um, getting on that ship with you, so I'm working on it. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> We're going to have a link on our website for y'all's email. Y'all's um, website, I know. too. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but I'm really considering it. Because we, I haven't been out of the country in, like, a couple of years now, so I'm, I think I'm about ready. Well, we're excited. Yeah. We're going to do a ritual, and it'll be more powerful with y'all there. So we, I'm just cheesing from ear to ear now. So yeah, I got a feeling we're gonna. I got a feeling we'll be there. Great. No Great. doubt. Appreciate that. With that, brother, I'm going to knock out. Peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you all so much. Love. Peace and love. First world order radio. Finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. We get on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. 
got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same that your thoughts transmits it. Proceeding in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns in existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetistics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories. Shit that works. <laughs>